No, there's no 27. A wizard. No, I think that that's the only thing. Uh, basically, it's uh, Cleric of Grave gives vulnerability to the next attack to uh, the boss. And um, Cleric of um, Tempest maximize a um, Meteor Swarm on the bus in electricity. Oh. Yeah. That oh, does about 500 up, yeah. damage. <laughs> okay, give me a book out. All right. Days. We're live, by the way. Hello. Hello. So, there are stat there are six stat blocks of of challenge rating 26 monsters in amongst all official Watsi content. Can mm -hmm. you name five of them because one of them is basically they're both the same. I got five we have Haroon. Yeah, we got I was one. about to say that. At he is my favorite character. 27, you mean? 26. There are no 27 monsters. Uh, I looked. Uh, I did a search. Zariel, there are no 27. Zariel in uh, Descent to Avernus with her sword. The yes. Demogorgon in Out of the Abyss. Demogorgon. Mm -hmm. Niv Mizet. Orcus. Orcus. Or uh, Orcus yep. in uh, Out of the Abyss 2. And uh, maybe Zariel in the Tome of Poe, but I don't know the other one. What is the other I, one? I, I think it might be stuck on the, the, the last one. Because I'm not sure how familiar you guys are with the setting. Uh, yeah, no, it's um, it's in Teros, right? Yep. It was just out oh, current, like not long it. ago. Is it... I don't know its Chorma name. Kratis? It's no, it's Chorma Kratis. Chorma Kratis? Yeah, it's yes. like a Kraken. Are you, are you yeah. cheating and actually searching? <laughs> nope. But no, yeah, no, no, Chorma Kratis. Kratis. Chorma Kratis. No, I'm it, all, it looks like a... a, like a I can um, show you my screen. I'm on my character sheet. Yeah. No, um, but um, Dustin plays Magic. Yeah. Yeah. So... <laughs> I was like, I have a big magic player. Yeah, I was like, okay, it's it, it's it's gonna be one of the big ones. I was I thought Pelucranos because he's the world eater, but I I forgot Tromocratus was a thing. Yeah, let down of a legendary creature though. I will say, <laughs> not good, not a good card. All right, well we'll start in about we'll, we'll actually start start in about four minutes, but I do want you to try to guess the six. Official Watsi uh, challenge rating twenty five. There's only one that I that the no three that I know. Uh, right. uh, twenty five is uh, ancient gold dragon. Nope. There's 20. there's one in Eberron. It's a, it's a warforged, but I don't know its size. I'm not sure. I think it's the Colossus, but I'm not sure. Yes. Well, it is it's, the Colossus. It's super huge. And uh, oh, the other two are twenty four, and that's why I know. <laughs> it's a uh, bell. I don't know uh, any of them. Hachi? Yep. Yeah. The other two. What are the other three? Uh, is an uh, ancient gold dragon a twenty-four? Possibly. I, I haven't looked. Uh, I know it's up problem. there. Yeah. Is it? Is there an ancient red dragon? Yes. There's the ancient of all dragons. No, no, no. Is he one of the twenty-five? No, uh, red and gold oh. are basically the same challenge rating. Oh, okay. one's chromatic, one's one's gold, and they have slightly different abilities. Uh, there's there are two that are in Storm King's Thunder, and one that's in Tome of Foes. Mon yeah, oh, so we'll, we'll, there's... I knew there was one in Tome of Foes, but I don't know what it is. It probably slipped my mind, or there's no image. Storm King's Thunder is going to be the big end boss, Storm King. Can't remember his name, but. Yeah, he's a storm giant. A titan? Oh, that's a dragon, so that's not him. Slurkrethel? No. Oh. But Slurkrethel is uh, the, the one from Storm Kings. Uh, then there's also a, uh, a, a dragon called Cloth. K-L-A-U-T-H. 
Oh, it's pronounced Klaus. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, okay, so you pronounce it like Klaus, but with a lisp? Yeah. Klaus. 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 Uh, hey, my name's Klaus. How are you today? Klaus. Uh, the, the other one is Marut. Who? Marut. He's a large construct from Tome of Foes. Oh, I don't know. Uh, the nigh unstoppable inevitables serve a similar purpose. They enforce contracts forged in the halls of concordance in the city of Sigil. I will be right back. Primus, the leader of the Modrons, created Maruts and other inevitables in order to to bring order to dealings between planar folk. All right, you have one minute, Cyrus. Da, da, da. <laughs> that 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 should be that should be our pre-show for this. This should be our pre-show for um, uh, this is just quizzes. just the monster. <laughs> Who's that D and D monster? It's Pikachu. It's the fairy. <laughs> no, it's Pikachu. Pikachu again. Oh, Pikachu again. Oh God. Yeah, a Tarask has a shit ton of HP. I saw this one TikTok where the guy is like talking about like how to like, kill Taras with like, a level five character and all. Um, and it was very situational. And just to confirm, yes, ancient golden red dragons are challenge rating twenty four. But like he was saying all this stuff about like oh like choose this one character who has a flying speed and all that and then. Get far up so I can't touch you, and all since it doesn't technically, the trash doesn't technically have flying speed and all. And the guy's like, No, if I'm DMing your session, that trash, you if I be fighting that trash in a cave with a barely high ceiling, you ain't gonna be able to do that. <laughs> They're going to go find the Tarask, and it's just kind of like sleeping in a big uh, in a big enough cave that it's, you know, comfortable. Mm. And then then when you wake it up because you attack it or something, uh, it it whips its tail, hitting this the, the side of the room. And there's a cave in at the other end. And that's just you <laughs> and the Tarask and <laughs> no escape. But we're the only escape to... is teleportation. <laughs> We're going to have to beat Tiamat at the end of uh, um, Rise yep. of Tiamat, right? Yep. Maybe. Oh. You also can't have to keep in mind, this is my re Rise of Tiamat. Right. Doesn't mean it's actually going to be the Tiamat that's on there. Uh -huh. Or I'm uh, going to follow the rules that, that the book says. Because here's the thing about D&D. &D. Rules were meant to be broken. Yeah. <laughs> True. You use them um, for order. You use what you want. If it's if it's not what you want, it doesn't matter. You, you do I what you mess want. It, I did message Crackless, and I haven't had a response yet. Uh, he must have like gotten caught, caught up in something or something. Uh, probably maybe work or something, you know. All right, there's a way. There's a way to uh, to one shot the uh, Tiamat. <laughs> no, okay, not. I don't want to know it. <laughs> no, but it's the same thing because I was looking at um, immunities, and of course, she's immune to her own damage. Why are you looking up the weaknesses of the final boss of our campaign we're literally doing right now? 
it's probably going to change anyway. Because and, it's fun. And plus, again, rules are meant to be broken. And anyway, in any know. kind. But it's because my my one of my main characters that does most damage is the one that I said. Uh, and it's a two-party like duel. Uh, and it does like... 480 damage in one round round uh and 240 if the character succeed the, the monster succeed which she automatically is gonna succeed because she's not dumb <laughs> <laughs> but like if i can repeat this three times like she could die which is doable because <laughs> i just need to change the damage to thunder instead of lightning <laughs> And someone yeah. else has a da someone else has a damage type that she like base Tiamat is not uh immune to. Radiant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Radiant yeah, she's not gonna be immune to radiant. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> like you you have you have a paladin who's maining a fire radiant build. <laughs> All right. I'll just stick with this thing. Fire radiant. Barbarian build. Polarian build. Polarian. All right. That's ever changing because I haven't figured out exactly what I want. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's play some B and D, shall we? Mm -hmm. B and D. What's B and D? B and D. This bears and dragon. We're doing. Well, it's not like you said B and D. I'm like, what's that? It's bears and dragon. Uh. Me and the boys running back to Area 51 after seeing how dog shit security at Capitol Hill was. Yes. <laughs> and then it's a picture of a bunch of people with Naruto running away. <laughs> wow. Hey, 19. Woo. All right. Uh, but yeah, Theros Beyond Death was a bit of a. It was it was a letdown. Yeah. Yeah. What was? Theros Beyond Death. It was a shit it was a, Oh, yeah. That it was a match. Yeah. They were, like, hard, like... Like, the cards themselves, like, the mechanics about them were all bad, but the card, like, the people in it and all were good. So it was like... <sighs> like, I love the demigod. Lore? Yeah, okay. the demigods were cool. Lore? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cards? Not so much. I mean, there were yeah. a couple cards that were, like, really cool and really good, but that's every set. Other, aside from that, like, yeah. the whole set was a letdown. Like, yeah. I was and so especially excited. Especially for Commander. Oh, yeah, for Commander, I was that so thing. excited for Pelucridos, where they were like, we're bringing Pelucridos back, and he, we're making him black-green. It's like, yes! That's so cool! He's gonna be a great Commander! Well, and then now he's just nope. shit. the Magic the Gathering. No. <laughs> <laughs> <Nope. Magic. laughs> Like, the only good card in the set that I really liked was Underworld Breach, and that's because it's a broken card. <laughs> yeah. I was happy Elspeth came back, but, like... Even like, her card was, was, like, really meh. Yeah. Because she was a ever, very first ever... Uh, Elspeth, Sun's champion, was the very first Planeswalker I ever pulled. Oh, uh, like, mine Cole was... Pulled. A Johnny from 2014, I believe. Uh -huh. The one that gains you 100 life, I think. Yep. So Zinderlov takes this uh, this uh, silver dragon scale ish sort of thing and just kind of like puts it on his arm, and it attaches. It just kind of like it almost looks like it magnetically attaches, and then all of a sudden there's just like this this web or something it's like his entire armor uh and uh, covering any exposed parts of his body besides his head uh is this like 
mesh of what looks to be silver dragon scales. Oh, like, like small ones. As soon as he sees that, Crave is going to try to do the same thing to his armor. Same thing ends up happening. All the coloring you've seen of your armor, you know how it's, uh, it looks all, all different? It's all looking like like silver dragon scales. Can I do the same thing? It's At least it's uniform now. You're when, already silver. When you you put the, the scale on your your arm, um, you, it's like a mesh. It's like you got in a second layer of scales. Oh, cool. The only Does thing is, is nothing changes. Like, you don't feel like you're more protected or anything. You just feel covered as if you're wearing warm clothing. Did each of us get a scale? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is this is your version of getting cold weather gear. Nice. Um, something which, Cyrus, you feel a little bit warmer. Like this is like, it's it's actually a little bit uncomfortable because well, apparently you already have silver dragon scales. That's kind of cool. And it, and the hey. thing is, it 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 also uh, it kind of goes over your head enough that it keeps your face uh, uncovered, and 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 you could hear fine as if you were just were like wearing earmuffs or something like that. Nice, cool. And and it, but it feels like a hood, and you can pull it back if you if you need to. And there seems to be kind of like this loose part. That seems like you can pull up over your face to mm -hmm. to cover. I mean, not so much on Cyrus because well, hard to do face. on a mini dragon. But Zinderlov also uh, puts a finger a finger on it and tries to pull it down just a little bit, and it goes down and uh, it actually kind of like extends off onto his trunk. Nice. Oh, cool. <laughs> so it doesn't cover the nose or anything. And, it, and he tries like, like pulling it, like just doing a gentle pull down and it can go over his nose and he starts breathing through his nose. And it's like, like, Oh, it's like breathing through like a mask. Like, Oh, careful. We need to make sure that no Karen gets a hold of this, because it'll be... Mm. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be able to form how you want it to, and it forms forms your body. You could, uh, If you try, like, kind of, like, p essentially pulling it down over your face, it's just as if you, like, were covering a piece of fabric over your face. I'd like to use the wand of smiles on Sister Frederica. Does Sister Frederica resist? Of course I'm going to resist. Uh, it's a wisdom saving throw, I believe. Yeah. It's a charisma saving throw. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's <what I> have <laughs> advantage. Why do you have advantage? But I don't have plus four, though. Because I'm a blue, actually, I'm a blue woman? Uh, actually, you do. Oh yeah, because you're probably with it. You're pro you're within ten feet of uh, Gizli, yeah. probably more than like it. So you don't have the plus four, or you do? No, he does. He, he does. He does from Gizli. Damn it! <laughs> you pass by two. <laughs> yeah, uh, being next to Gizli right now, you get a plus four, four, and from me, you get a plus. All right. You either get a plus three or four, uh, depending on whether you're whether or not Gizli is close to you. <laughs> yeah, but also if you're next to me, you get cold resistance uh, resistance to cold damage. Yay! Oh, that that was part of your protection. Oh, my, right? or, yeah. Which I well, which I modified. <laughs> yes. Oh, um, I also, I don't know if you remember this, but I put five levels of spells into my ring of spell storing. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think, I think I remember you saying that. Yeah. 
What spells did you put in there? Um, I put uh. Here, I had it. Blink. Uh, Blank dimension Blank door Blank. and uh. Identify. Oh, that works. I wait on. <gasps> Well, the and the, the thing about identify is, as long as you have ten minutes, you can just ritual cast it. So yeah, but sometimes okay. we don't and have shield. ten minutes. So you have, so you all get aboard the frost skimmer. Uh, which, what's the name of the captain? Captain Lurotosh. Half face. Yeah. I think I put it in the chat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all coming back to the other. He's captaining. There's four Rosemen. They do have some sails to help make their way. Uh, down here at what uh, you're leaving from Waterdeep, it's going to take a, a few days to actually get up to the Sea of Movie Nights. Uh, so you have some time on the boat. It, it, more of a description of what the ship is. The Frost Skimmer is a light long ship with the shallow draft. Uh, it's driven by a single sail or by oars. A combination of wind and oar power is needed for uh, picking a course through a uh, close packed ice. Despite the ship's length of nearly 60 feet, it is still light enough to be lifted by its 40 crew members if it is, if it becomes hemmed in by ice. And also, if instead of, like, resting on the water, you decide to pull it up onto an ice floe. Yeah. Because who, know what, who knows what dangers lurk in the sea of moving ice? Okay. Yeah. Is there anything that you would like to do during your two two days journey on the water? I'm assuming Besides Cyrus is. Yeah, you can do that. Um, and uh, Cyrus probably could practice actually speaking. Hello. Speak. Wait, wait. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Does he need to do the the whole week? To learn the language? No, he already knows the language. It's okay. it's just getting his vocalizations <laughs> of being able to actually spit out the language properly. All right, um, and, I'm gonna do potion and um, uh, <laughs> rent out a book to learn uh, another language. I guess. Well, you can't rent out any books right now because you are on the water. No, but in Cyrus's um, library. I can be in the Cyrus library to make um, potions. Yeah. And books. I suppose the door could be conjured to, to uh, uh, and and just be like moving along with the ship. Yep. It went in like conjure in one place, the boat moves and it stays in place. <laughs> uh, could I cast Find Familiar? You can cast Find Familiar. I would like to cast Find Familiar. Can I have my familiar be a pseudo dragon? <laughs> I sure normally can. can't, but I'm asking if I can because it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm gonna say that a dragon in and of himself, if they could cast a uh, fine familiar, could what pseudo dragon could be an option for their fine familiar. Yes. Okay, I am being summoned by my Google. Stop. Thank you, Google. Your Google is casting fine familiar? <laughs> no, my <Google. laughs> no, I need to go flip over my um, thing and spray the other side with a clear coat. Okay. So how long are we at sea? Uh, it's going to take a few days. I would like to, I would say about three days. It just says a few days. So I'm just going to say three because few sounds more than couple. And a couple yep. is usually two, which is more than one. So you got three days of work. And I'm also going to do, do some uh, 
talking with uh, Layden, um, just because ever since kind of talking, like our conversations with uh, Eye of Io, um, things have been resonating. Some with Priv and things he's been feeling for a while, but it kind of just hit home with him and all. So he's going to talk with Layden about things. See how he's doing and seeing if Bahamut's talked to him at all. Or... I mean, I'm just kind of like the only acolyte thing. So uh, he hasn't really talked yeah. to me, but I, I, I just assume that because I'm new. Yeah, I have, I, it's been a while since I've heard from him as well. It is un, not unlike gods to go long periods. So. I mean, for like your average everyday people, do the dog gods actually talk to you all the time? Like, if you if you if you pray and and talk to them, do they always respond? Not. I would think that would be a lot of work, because it's like a lot of people are praying at the you, same time. You have to talk to everybody at the same time. That you, seems you are, difficult. You are correct, little young one, and. It just, I think, I understand. That you've helped me out. Just things have been weighing on me for a while now. I mean, so it's good to air one's thoughts out. Yeah, and are 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 you no longer believing in Bahamut? Oh, I believe in him. Trust me, I've. I see. I've seen many of the things that Bahama can do up front, and there is. I I there is no doubt that I believe he is there, and all. But I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't want to follow him. I mean, he it, he sounds like he's like you know one of the like tough love sort of guys, gods. Yeah, like you said, you're still new to all this. I will still show you the way of everything and all. This just there's been a while. Like, I can only say about a handful of times in the thirty years I've been on this planet that he's talked less than a handful. But you were right. Gods aren't always interested. I mean, you. I did. You, did you tell him that you were you were once a, an ancient gold dragon in the service? Yeah, of the yeah. During um the like when we were first raising them, like when I would spend time by, like just me when like everyone else was in the village. It was kind of like I was talking to them about my old life and what it truly means to be a dragon. I mean. <sighs> I mean, you you've been in service with Bahamut for such a long time, and he might have gotten a little angry with how you were acting, and that's why he did this. He was just giving you a little bit of punishment, and maybe he's trying to do like something like you okay. need to find your way, find your path again, or something. And it's and he's like. Like, maybe he believes you will stay with him and everything, and everything will return. It's just he's giving you a really long lesson. That is true. Sometimes lessons lead to new pain. Mm -hmm. yeah, only time will tell where things lead. Yeah. But he's a good guy. He is. Layden is all about the Bahamut. He is. He is. Like, like it was all about the Pentiums, and all about the Ben, all about the Benjamins. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the Pentiums. All... <laughs> it's all about. It's all about the Bahamut, baby. 
Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Sorry. It's okay. We don't blame you. <laughs> but otherwise, just a... Uh, we got Kriv uh, 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 talking with his son, for lack of a better word. Um, Pretty much. Also doing this whole time, too, I'm also teaching him smithing and enchanting. Okay. So he's kind of helping you out. So you can have yeah. discussions while you're working on it. He's like moving his paws over one of the so uh, your swords. It's not doing a very good job, but he's getting there. Well, he's, he's, he's still learning. But it does give you a little bit of help. But it's yeah. so minuscule that it doesn't <laughs> really affect anything. <laughs> but it's help. It, it's more for his learning than for my help. And instead of having to take full eight hours, you only need to do seven hours and 50 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing. Frederico's doing some potions. Yeah, but I'm going to have to have a talk with... Uh... Chotant. Okay. Make sure that he wants uh, he wants to be my partner. He, that he knows what it entails and then <gasps> What is the gasp for? Can I make lemon my familiar? No. Oh. <laughs> no, because I tried doing that with fine Steve and Layden, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> And I was shot down. You're, 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 you're trying to do a fine... You were do, doing the fine seed spell, being like, I'm going to do lead. And you're, you're, you're really focusing. You get a horse. <laughs> Maybe I get my special horse. horse. Uh, yeah, so it's like, you want me to like, go out in the field? I get action? Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love being stealthy. <laughs> he disappears. But that means danger, baby. Danger is my middle name. Yeah, I know. I don't. He 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 reappears. You know, do I have a last name? Um, I just want to say I didn't like when he was near me at ten feet. I didn't lose track of him. No, you didn't. I didn't. He was like, he, he actually he, he just disappeared, but he actually didn't move. Yeah. No, <laughs> he just like, went invisible. <laughs> he moved. <laughs> he didn't move at all. He just kind of like stood there. He was like, but that means just a demonstration. Good. I like being stealthy. <laughs> and you're really good at it. Though it is dangerous outside. You know that. Remember last time when we, we put you out and they attacked you? Those were easy targets. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I, I understand. I'm still young. But I'd love to get out there. Think sure. All right. If you say you're okay with it, and if, if for some reason you're not, you don't feel up to it, you have... Uh, backlash or anything, talk to Mama. We're going to see what we can do about it. Absolutely. So we're we're going to have to train a lot. I know what Chachant is thinking now. Evil DM grin. The what? <laughs> I know what Chachant is thinking right now. Yeah. <laughs> Evil DM grin. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, so I'm going to start by learning you how to make potion. I'm going to make you learn how to make potion. Mm, that doesn't seem like fun. It doesn't seem like fun, but when you get beat it up after beating up people, you need to recover. Potions hey, are there. Do you just like rest for that? Mm, sometimes you cannot rest. If there's people running after you, if someone can see invisible... You need to be prepared. I just fly away. And what if he flies? Fly faster. That's a great thinking. But if you can fight it, because your health is up, you have more chance to survive than to running away. Mm. But if you cannot fight it, 
running away and hiding is your best option and you're already good at it. So let's focus on the things that you're not great at it. See, I, I'm thinking of Chitant as it's, if he had a class, it would be rogue. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> along the lines of like assassination rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Hop in there. If, if he the took the path, he would he would probably be one of those people who would come in, slice up and get out and disappear. Yep. That's that's pretty much it. Um <laughs> literally. Mm -hmm. Um He he'd he'd be invisible, fly up to somebody's face and just breathe acid into it and then disappear and go <laughs> invisible again and disappear. Yeah, he's gonna have invisibility in the um a cutting action. Cutting uh, action, go invisible. That's 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 strength. Like like the phase spiders. Bonus action, uh, ethereal. Yeah, he he already does it. He, his uh, turning invisibility uh, on, uh, turning off is is a free action. I would say. Yeah, but uh, no, it's or, or not even or not even needed as an action. If he attacks, obviously he's going to drop invisibility. It's, it's, it's but, a consequence. <laughs> yeah, it's a consequence for for the most part. But if he he intentionally does it, it's considered a free action because he's basically dropping his invisibility. Yeah. And strangely enough, he doesn't have to concentrate on it. It's like greater invis, <laughs> except without the concentration. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not like greater invis because he loses the invisibility when he attacks. Never mind. It's okay. <sighs> Mechanics. So, Le Lemon is in the middle of. He's she's like sitting with her her uh, poppy, and she's got the first time he's, uh, she sees him uh, after uh, his boon was given to him. She she actually comes up to you and just kind of like. Did you get a little bigger? Maybe. <laughs> Mommy, you now, do you say that out loud or do you telepathically say that? I say it out loud. Ha 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 ha! She goes, I can't oh! do that now. You can talk normal now. That's so cool. It is superpower. I can do it now. You're like bigger. Not much, but you're bit. bigger. A little bit. Is there any anything else like? Oh, I could do this now that I'd like to use my breath weapon into the air. See, so you, you like, just uh, go, you do kind of like the the yelling into the sky, except you're breathing in cold. This mist mm -hmm. of of cold just kind of like bursts out of you. She goes, oh, "Daddy, you can breathe." <laughs> <laughs> He's like um, El Elsa. I making, can breathe. Making swirls of ice. Do you want to build a snowman? Can I make uh, a snowman out of my breath weapon? Mm, no. Which, I need... Doesn't have to be a snowman. I need to show <laughs> you all something. Oh, what's that? It's an horrible, horrible uh, little clip that I know you're going to love. It doesn't imply... Uh, any nudity, but it's, it's magnificent. He's getting Link. Yeah. Do you have anything special you would like to do, or you just watching all the shenanigans with uh, the uh, 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 dragon parents and their dragons? I'm just sitting back in the in the back, laughing about what's going on, <laughs> or chuckling to myself. I mean, we're kind of like jumping all over, like chronologically, over the these three days. But eventually, it's gonna be in the the actually a dragon um, um, page. Oh, the the, the, the yeah the the, 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 the chat room. You're gonna have to log on Facebook, but it's worth it. I'll I'll look at it later. Yeah, because 
Well, to listen to it, I have to do it through my phone, and I'm not sure how that will work. Yeah, we'll just leave it for you. Know. Oh my god! It's perfect, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> also, it's actually quite funny because now my Discord username is accurate. Now I'm actually a dragon! dragon. <laughs> Bye! Yay. A mini dragon, but still a dragon. A mini dragon. It's still a dragon. <laughs> Mini dragons are, are dragons too. <laughs> All right. So eventually, you start seeing the the air outside on the boat. Because I'm assuming you kind of like pop out and mingle a little bit with the with the crew uh, mm -hmm. on occasion. You know, check in. Help out. Help out where we can. Or at least yeah. Crib will help out where he can. Cyrus, do you invite everybody to come in for dinner? There's Into 40, my mansion? 40, yeah, there's 40 crew members in the captain. Sure, I will. They're, they're like, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> if we need to sleep in shifts, it's going to be nice and warm. Oh, sorry, I don't have room for you. Oh, that's okay. We can like, sleep on the floor. It's fine. <laughs> it is a library, right? So, um... We have... <laughs> Bed rolls in the oh, stack. hey, sorry, did I mention the spell only lasts for four hours? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> which, which, after the first night, they're like, that's a lie. <laughs> they're like, hmm. I think I've heard of this spell before, and I think it usually lasts for 24. <laughs> Where did these dragons come from? Dragons oh, these are our babies. If you do anything to them, I will kill you. Same. Yes, sir. You see that room over there that we have? The, the, the vault? That's full of, like, psychotically evil weapons. And it would be great to experiment what sentient weapons do with people. Who said Wouldn't that? It? No, no. You'll wish we used one of those on you. Wait, who who said that? Like Cyrus? No, no. About the dragons. Like, where did the dragon <laughs> come from? Is it just yeah. The the crew oh. members just saw saw these three three dragon wormlings and be like, what? Three black dragon wormlings. Yeah. Although one of them has like gold scales as well, so it's kind of weird. Well, it, they just asked about it. They didn't say they were going to do anything about it. Shutant, if you want. No, but we're just making sure that they don't even think about it. Shutant, if you want to introduce yourself. Hi. I didn't know we were having guests. That's Shutant. Lemon just like this is lemon. Like, lemon's like uh, uh up like in like in a rafter or something. She's she's perched above them, looking yeah. down and says, "Don't you dare hurt any one of these books." <laughs> <laughs> she she gives a mean look. The meanest girl. Look she 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 basically if she had a class it would be librarian right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where's the line though? She 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 says says bedtime is midnight. If I hear even a peep in the library, you will hear from me. <laughs> you won't see it coming. You won't see it coming. Lemon is the equivalent of um, the one in Harry Potter with the cat. <laughs> Filch. Yeah. Uh, I, I I think she she would probably be more of uh, McGonagall. Oh god. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Very strict, orderly, but she can. She's kind. 
when she needs to be. Yeah. Filter is just like mean. He can't help it. He's a squib. I know. He's just born that way. But he doesn't he have knows to be so, so, like, mean about it. You know, but, okay, you'll know about the magical world and be able to participate in the magical world and not have magic. Yeah, you be, a, you be cranky. You be cranky, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, <laughs> I would... Sure. It's one of those things where, where if, if I were in that world but wasn't able to like like do magic stuff, I would try to enjoy whatever benefits of it that I possibly could. That's it. Yeah, I'd just I'd be happy to be there. <laughs> but like, oh, I can't do magic. Oh, that's too bad. But uh, that's that's my personality. In any case, but uh, so, I can do lemons, alchemy. <laughs> lemons McGonagall, uh, Layden is. The nicest of the three, of the, yeah, uh, uh, Chitant is like friendly and stuff, but he's kind of like standoffish. Um, yeah. Uh, he he's usually nowhere to be seen around them. Not to say that he isn't present. He's just, he's just not seen. Um, <laughs> and Layton is difference. all just welcoming and like if if somebody needs like a refill in the glass uh he goes hey millie could you could you get them some more wine yeah thank you <laughs> and then when the pseudo dragons go flying off and comes back with pitcher and kind of like pours it it's it's really amazing how they're fluttering and using their back claws to do all this it's weird yeah <laughs> you, know what, you know what we call that skill yep <laughs> they're also magical. They're also magical spectral beings. So, hmm. who are skilled they, at what they, they do? Do what they want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Layden's being like the gracious host. He's 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 got this like he's got his like uh, tabard of Bahamut on. Uh, if anybody asks him about it, he starts talking like up a storm about all, everything he knows about <laughs> Bahamut. Once you get him talking about Bahamut, he won't stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he literally cannot stop. He 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 fends off he he always calms people down whenever uh somebody sees the the like like a vulture uh perched a lemon uh looking down, making sure everybody is behaving. Everyone's when somebody's gonna like little... like turn around, they see Lemon giving that glare, glare. Just be like, "I'm watching you." <laughs> uh, he's like, "Don't worry about her; she's fine." <laughs> and he'll just play around with them, and like every so often, just a little spark fire come out, just like that. Just like he, he, he'll like occasionally go, uh, uh, and there's just like this, <laughs> like 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 just just this little like flame, like but he'll, like he'll, it's it's. it's it's a fire sneeze. <laughs> he doesn't actually need to sneeze, but he does that. And it's just, like it. yeah. So he says, "Oh, my food it's... is. Oh, my food looks like my food's gotten cold. I, I have I've been talking so much with my friends here." And he goes, uh, 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 and, "And it's burst of flame. Food's warm again." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's a sneeze. Yet he knows exactly how much fire to give. <laughs> yeah. He's very talented in his fire breath. And controlling it. What you, what you haven't known is all the times you just kind of left him alone. Uh, he's been very diligent in practicing how to use his breath. That's my boy. Uh, Leading takes uh, goes to you, Kravis. Daddy, I want to show you something. Come here, follow me to the training room. He just like flies off quickly. <laughs> He doesn't even wait for you. He just goes. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. Okay. I excuse myself from the table because I'm guessing we're eating right now. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm, this is like overall uh, uh, yeah. the, the theme of what's happening. He goes and shows. Dad, watch this. This is cool. You know how how usually when you do a fire breath, it's like like uh, just like a cone. Watch yeah. this. Yeah. He, he kind of like shapes his mouth. And he goes, and it's a line. And it goes out farther than its cone would go. 
I thought he was going to make circles. <laughs> Just little <laughs> fire rings. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I uh, feel like Crib looks like really stunned. Like that's impressive. I know I've been practicing it. It hasn't been working, but I've been trying to like narrow it as much as I can. And when I kind of like focus it, it's just like it's just like a, a nice little line. Uh, Crib will go ahead and give him because it like of his all his knowledge and you know, actually knowing how his lightning works and all. He'll give him little uh, pointers and how to. Narrow can I ask for pointers as well? <laughs> Yes, I will. I I can very much help you with your ice. Because, like, as it currently stands, it is pitiful. <laughs> <laughs> anything draconic it. related, anything draconic related, Kriv will be happy to help out. Appreciate. <laughs> hey, the thing is, that whole line thing, he figured out on his own. That's what's super impressive. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I'm just, I'm getting him, I'll give him little pointers to help him out more. Yeah. yeah and how, how to kind of like maintain it. Yeah. Because it, it seems like he tries doing it again. It, it mostly works, but then it's like a little broader and doesn't go as far. So it's like, instead of like, yeah. he's having a problem with consistency. Yeah. Chior is just on, kind of watching all this. Uh, what is Zinderlove doing? Zinderlove's probably just reading your books, being courteous, uh, putting it on ear for any of the crew members that may want to just, you know, vent about something or, you know, being the whole, like, priestly, like, confessional sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> too, bad, too bad none of us are barred. Barred would be really nice right now. <laughs> Concerts every night. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that should, I should just have, have Zinderlof, like take a few <laughs> levels and bard. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. By the way, uh, do we have um, do we have um, news about uh, what's his name, the one who was playing Cinder Love? Um, he's busy. All right. <laughs> I mean, I didn't a- I specifically ask him about uh, uh, coming back because we're working on on Thursday evenings. But uh, I'm in his like streamer di- streaming Discord, and he's been like family stuff. And, sure. So. No problem. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of what he's been doing. But I, I've always said that I've, there's an open invitation for any of these people to, to return. So <laughs> I, I'm until they tell me otherwise, I'm, I'm not going to bug him about it. Um, yeah. So three days passed and uh, it's starting to get much colder outside. Uh, and we, you start getting to a point where they have to slow down a little bit because ice flows are starting to appear and, and float around and they have to start navigating through it. Yeah, let's see here. Mm. Uh, the morning goes by fine. The afternoon. Oh. <laughs> the afternoon. Nope. Nope. No. No. That's no. 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 <laughs> All right. We'll use this. Mm. How does this work? That one will look 
for. Do you guys like constantly stay in there or do you spend some time, especially since the, the since you just hit the sea of moving ice? Um, are you staying outside to watch? I'm going to stay yeah. outside uh, after I'm done doing potions because I cannot do a full 24 hours of potions, unfortunately. Uh, I'm probably going to stand well, outside. Well, you, you wouldn't do 24 hours of potions. You would do exactly. eight hours, and that's it. <laughs> exactly. You understand what I mean. So I'm going to be outside doing stuff. Yeah, because uh, Kriv will help out. Uh, Kriv's out there helping wherever he can when he's not doing his smithing, and it's not dinner time. And I'll help uh, do watch outside, too. Let's see. All right. <laughs> really? <laughs> Oops. That's okay. Uh, I would like to uh, put yourselves on the deck of where you would be during a normal time. All I see is black. All you see is black? Yep. All I see is black. I've put my people that. Come on. Let me take a look. Black, 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 black. Why are you seeing black? I have, like, nothing on. I don't know. It's just, it's just a black thing. It's a black thing. Yeah. So can can you see it, Frederica? Nope. I'm just moving around like a dum dum. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try just really near you and see what happens. Advanced dice roll. <gasps> no, I want to roll four hundred d twenties. Uh, try reloading your. Oh, oops. <laughs> we got a 4,284. Uh, uh, so. Well, damn. Well, let me try nice. I'm putting you back Ooh. on here. That's a there there were a lot of. Ah, nice. Oh, I had a brief scene of something. It's like, it's like a chart. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, based off of some things I've been watching, I'm probably not even going to be. Can you see it now? You should see a ship. Nope, we don't see a thing. God damn it. I see yeah. a council scorecard. Well, you shouldn't see it anymore. Oh my goodness. Oh, plus nine. Oh my god. What is this? It's a roll. Oh my god. A it's lot of rolls. It's a damage that I do. No, it's not. Try leading, reloading your thing because I don't have anything on. Try again. Roll 20! Nope, doesn't seem to work. Have we been moved? I see the inky blankness, blackness of the void. That's it. Yeah, that's... Uh... God damn it. Well, 20, what the hell are you doing? All right. Oh, you now see I... see the coast. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now we see the map. Now we don't see the map. Still blackness? Yeah. Yep. It's blackness infinitus. Uh, it's more black than my soul. Daylight mode. Blur mode. Save and my soul has been... Oh, I've seen oh, a I saw, I saw it briefly. 
Okay, that's a plus. You quit. Uh, we're gonna come back and open something. There it is. There we are. <gasps> Turn Yay! dynamic lighting okay. on and off. There we go. We have too many Cyruses. Delete a Cyrus. I'm back. Oh, uh, oh the map there. is off. Yeah, the squares are off. <laughs> yeah, well, the squares look fine to me. The squares are chill, but we're not. Um... I'd be right back. Oh, it's not snapping. aligning correctly. Okay. Yeah, well, that's all right. We're not snapping on the the the. As, as long as you're close enough. Yeah, I can move. Yeah. It will be it. Because we're gonna have here. fights on the ship. Fight fights on the ship. Um, I'm gonna give him his auras. I need someone uh, to put. By the way, um, is Chris there? Smart. Yeah. Haven't heard him in. Yeah, forever. I'm here. I just can't seem to get my token on. Mm, <laughs> there it is. Yay! Uh, thank you. Yeah, sure. Uh, Kriv? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to... Give me Gizly? Give you Gizly. So, you can have control over him. That way I have less to do. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna level him. Okay. I just gave him a plus two to charisma. He can change that later when he, when he gets back. For his ASI, I give him a, it just just plus two to uh, his charisma score. I was gonna do the um HP. Alright, enough with the crazy rolling. Please stop. Yes. Oh my goodness. Why are there so Cyrus, many? Cyrus. Always what? making jokes. Well, the last I one was you. The last seven were him. Thank you. I did nothing. Nothing of the sort. The chat I'm, says otherwise. I'm innocent. Look, I rolled 61,476 in deception. You must believe me. Yeah, sadly enough, yeah, you only roll a d20 for that, and you rolled, like, more than that. So, <laughs> you definitely did not roll that. I would tell you to re-roll. But that's my deception. All right. So to keep this straight for you guys, if you are in the yellow circle, you have the protection aura of, of Gizli. No matter what, as long as you're in that in any way, shape, or form, that's we the protection roll or protection bonus that you get. We don't see the, the, the auras. You should see the yellow auras. You're currently in it. Yeah, but I, we don't see it. I'm talking about mechanically speaking, not like as a character. I know, me too. All res are not uh, like quote quote allowed. What do you mean? That we don't see it. <laughs> I, I'm so the too, right? Do you, do, yes. you, do you not see do you not... A, ye a yellow circle around Gizli? No. No. That's what I meant. Okay, that's annoying. In your it's okay. And we don't want you to see it. I'm going overboard anyway. <laughs> Yay. All right. Save. Ah, now I see it. It's that probably something a... you have to do. Oh, that's uh, over here. See? There. Ah, we see the green one now. 
Okay, so yellow or yeah. yellow aura, you get the plus five to to your uh, saving throws. Oh, it's plus five now. Yeah. Yeah. Until um, Gizli comes back and does his own leveling up, we just gave him a uh, ASI of his plus two to charisma. That's perfect. So he maxes that out. Yeah. Yeah, that's Since perfect. he already has like. 24 in strength, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, um, no point in doing that. And if you're in the green, you get uh, buff from me. Which what is buff? a plus, uh, plus four to saving throws and uh, resist, uh, resistance to cold damage. Okay, you, you took your, your SI was plus, uh, plus two charisma? Mm-hmm. That's what it... That's... For for Kriv, you, you did a plus two to your charisma have... for your ASI, Kriv. Oh no, it's uh, sorry, plus three, plus three. Okay, three. My webcam makes me look buff. That's kind of fun. <laughs> it's because you're a buff dwarf. Anyway, I'm not maybe. buff. <sighs> so, but, uh, yeah, you'll get cold resistance uh, damage. Um, yeah. protection for me. Yay! Oh, no. If I have resistance plus resistance, does that make me immune? Nope. No. Nope. It means unless, you're resistant. <laughs> unless you have the mask of the dragon. <laughs> Which none of the characters know about. No, sadly. I didn't even know that they existed. Well, we never saw one, so. Exactly. No. I don't even we don't even know they exist. No, we don't. <laughs> Okay. So also, um, if it's remember, I have alert too, so I would I can never be surprised. That's good. Yeah, can never be surprised, and plus five to initiative. That's good. <laughs> with my plus zero dexterity, as like, I think I'll be able to get shit done with that alert. <laughs> Since there's more things you want to focus on when it comes to uh, yeah. uh, that sort of thing, it's probably be best to just go ahead and, and buff that. Um, yeah. Are you ready? I can't keep remembering I have these uh, martial adept. Yeah, don't forget your neato little features that you might have gotten, so. Otherwise, I'll have to start quizzing you guys. All right, quizzing what? What your character can do. Oh, God. Yeah. (laughs) My character cannot do anything. (laughs) Your character can do a shit ton of things. (laughs) Too much. Some might say. All right, for this day, uh, Frederica, do you have uh, a, a mutagen prepared? Yes, I have. Uh, the, that is prepared. I have the strength one, the intelligence one. Yeah, you, uh, can do, you can do two at a time. I remember if I have two or three at a time right now. I think it's supposed to come soon. Okay. Yeah, I have two at strengthen, a time. Right? Strengthen it. Okay. Cool. I would like everybody to roll me a perception check. Because here's the thing is, while you're coming out here, do you, do you remember what why you're coming out here? Uh, we're coming to search for the tiefling sorcerer who um, yeah. is, has gone missing while uh, studying more about the dragon horn. Okay. And what do you remember were clues that you already have? Oof, that's a... I don't... I don't remember any. Uh, there was a, um... White dragon... Spotted around... Here. I'm flying about and all. You said perception? Yep. Yeah. I wrote the 17. That's okay. Yes! 
All right. So, write this shit down, folks. Okay. Okay. You don't have to write this whole shit down, but this is what uh, Della Sil Silmerhelv has uh, told you. McCath reported her progress to the host tower, which is the uh, the headquarters of the Arcane Brotherhood in Luskin. Uh, by way of sending spells, her last report spoke of seeing ice hunters paddling their sea seal skin boats towards a huge iceberg flattened like a plateau across its surface, but ringed by icy peaks. She had intended to follow the ice hunters and investigate the iceberg. After that, no more reports came. Attempts to find Macath using scrying and other magical means located only her ship adrift and heavily damaged. Some of the ship's crew ha were seen dead, but no sign of the tiefling sorcerer was ever found. However, the lair of the dragon as powerful as Arath, Arath Tatter, whatever, is no doubt protected against scrying magic. And Macath is alive in addition to lore she can share she can share regarding the Drakenhorn. The Drakhorn, the uh, Arcane Brotherhood would be most grateful to get her back. So now, awesome. do you remember what you're looking for? Yeah. Uh, the icy plateau. Cool. You don't see it yet. All right. So in the afternoon on the first day, oh, you see <laughs> what happened? I'll show Justin you. sent me. He sent me a meme. It's very good. <laughs> I'll do Hashtag it. Has gonna the, find um... me a man to do that with? <laughs> oh, Ooh, what that girl? What that? Ooh exactly what it looks like. Um, <laughs> it's his goodies! <laughs> Frederica. Shishimi. Calamari is on a menu tonight. You just did barely dodge out of the way as a giant tentacle comes f flying towards you. On the other side of the deck, deck, uh, a tentacle comes flying up and actually they should be like right here comes flying up and uh, as as he emerged because they only have a five foot reach <laughs> as two giant octopi uh, come bursting out of the water from each side uh, this one is currently grappled and not looking so hot uh, what's a good grapple thing we'll just use the net icon so, that's a good grapple thing. Grapple and thing. none of you saw them approach. Oh, okay. really? Yep. But I have blind sight. Yeah, but your perception check didn't beat their stealth check, so you didn't yeah. see anything. <laughs> okay. Dang, they must have good stealth. <laughs> they, they also crit their stealth check. Ah. <laughs> uh. Because like I crit my invest my perception check and I have alert. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have any decks. <laughs> oh, wait, they they have a lot of decks, I should say, or they have proficiency in decks. But so how about the thing was like you can't be surprised while you are conscious. Or... So so technically during the surprise round you could be you could act. Okay. 
So you see this happening. You hear screens coming down from uh, from. Uh, it's more so a case Canada. of you won't you won't ever get auto critted by a rogue. Yeah, sadly, it's kind of what it boils down to. If everyone in our party had alert, then we would be able to nullify any surprise round ever. But I can still be surprised. Frederick can still be surprised. Yeah. Etc. Roll initiative. Yeah. Oh, nice. Where'd my initiative go? I had a 21. Where'd you roll initiative? Up here. But you were like, do perception checks, because I thought we were just automatically going into combat, so I rolled my initiative earlier. I didn't ask for initiative yet. Oh, do you want me to roll again, then? Yeah, go ahead and roll again. Oh, come on! There you are. Hey, you rolled well! Look at that, that's, 21. That's a great I rolled, a, you, I rolled again, and I got a 4. Oh, it, because it put my first one onto the thing okay no it's because i changed it to what you originally rolled <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> well, thank thank you win. <laughs> i'm sorry what was that here it looks like it didn't take my initiative for some reason we'll get to all right where did we put you um, it's because you have your set as yourself, not uh, your character. Or, or you hadn't selected your characters when yeah. you rolled. You have to select your character to then roll, and or select your token, I should say. So 6.14. Sort. There we are. Uh, gotta... So, so Kriv... Surprise that. round! You can you can take an action. Um, I'm gonna lightning breath actually this one. Go ahead. Because he's but that's right. Yeah. So I think it's absolutely Wait. hilarious. Oh. Because he's grappling. This one. Yeah, yeah he is. But he takes up the space. I'm just afraid that something might happen to him because he's holding. On. But he, he's yeah, but he he's he's just grappled, so he's still technically in that space. So if you're not aiming for that space, you'll only hit the giant octopus, which okay. you could aim to do that just fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna aim to hit him. Yeah, go ahead and roll it. <laughs> They're gonna make the decks. Yeah, totally I did not roll it. Uh, he gets uh, sparked. <laughs> uh, it it seemed to to have moved out of the way, but uh, got just the like the tail end of it. He's in the water. He got hurt a little bit. Yeah. Top of the round, Cyrus. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to be, like, all excited. I'm going to fucking poop and haste myself. <laughs> You're going to poop and haste yourself? I said poop. Uh. Boop. <laughs> you, you, you hear a, <gasps> giant octopuses! Giant, giant octopi! I was about to say giant octopusy, then I really think that's not right. <laughs> Pusses. Giant octopi! So, okay, is this and, tentacles? And wings or start flapping very octopi? fast. These are actual octopi. Fun fact, the proper term based on where um, the word octopus came, comes from, um, the plural term is actually octopuses, not octopi. Your grammar okay. fact for the day. Really? Uh, anyway, I'm going to cast octopi. Gravity Sinkhole right okay. here. Okay, what does it do? Are these, these are five feet, right? Yeah, they're five foot squares. 
I'm going to cast it right here. A 20-foot radius sphere of crushing force forms at a point I can see within range and tugs at the creatures there. I'm using the one stored in my ring, so I'm not casting a second spell. Or, yeah. Ring, ring glows, and this like little bead goes... Yeah. Uh, it At a point I can see within range and tugs at the creatures there. Each creature in the sphere must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, the creature takes 5d10 force damage and is pulled in a straight line towards the center of the sphere, ending in an unoccupied space as close to the center as possible, even if that space is in the air. Okay, what's the DC? Uh, the DC is 16. 16, cool. Uh, what happens when they succeed? Um... Not a lot. Nothing. Oh, on a successful save, half damage and isn't pulled. Okay. Uh, so roll the damage. Half damage is not that bad. Oh, I double clicked it. The first one was 16. 16. Which is fucking awful for 5d10, really? <sighs> Even the 19 negative sex. You get two double ones and a ten. <laughs> yeah. And then you get a one on the other one. Oh, no, oh, I did. That's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. I wanted to do minus eight. There we are. The, you see kind of the water, like, whoosh backwards towards the uh, location of the gravity sinkhole? Uh, and but the uh, octopus uh, doesn't seem to move, but it does look like it got hurt. Lovely. <laughs> roll twenty shits on my rolls. Damage rolls like yet again. <laughs> All right. Okay. By the way, did you want gravity sinkhole or did you want a haste? Because I believe haste is an action. Uh, I haste and then I used my second action. To cast the spell oh, from my oh, ring. Okay, yeah. Okay, never mind. And then I will move over here. All right, Gizly. Um, for the bonus action, we're actually going to go ahead and cast Hunter's Mark on this one. The one that he's next to. All right. Hunter's Mark? Oh, yeah. Oh, Hunter's gotcha. Mark. We'll purple that. Actually, no. Let's green it. Strangely enough, Hunter's Mark is a Paladin spell. We're actually going to do that at... Yeah, we're going to do that first. Actually, time. I think it's a Vendant yeah. spell. Um, yeah, it's only strictly for uh, uh, Oath of Vengeance. Yeah, because it's and a then... Ranger spell. <laughs> down here and go to strike this with a great sword. And 19 hits. to hit. Alright. Uh, 17 so slashing. 17. And then roll the hunter's mark. So D6 I believe. That's weird. It's because, um... So, four. Yeah, because it's based on whatever you do. So since you're just slashing, it does four slash. Yeah, alright. It's weapon damage. Uh, doo -doo. this guy's restrained, so he's going to attempt to break out. And he does. He's able to slip out. So he's no longer restrained. They're all getting whispered. In case yeah. you aren't aware. No, I'm aware. I'm just telling you what's yeah. happening. Instead of changing it. Okay. Mm. 
We have this guard because he's technically within five feet of him. Or this horseman. <laughs> Gonna try attacking. Uh, this is a couple points of damage. Uh, this guard that comes over here, tries attacking. Uh, misses. There we go. Can you guys hear me now? Oh, yes, we can. Yeah. Yeah. But we can hear you. Yeah. Can yeah, you hear my? my... We yeah. can hear you, but we can hear everything around you too. Okay. Yeah, we can hear the fan. Is yeah. that better? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's better. This one does a couple points of damage. Comes over here. Attacks that one. Does a couple points of damage. You can tell these guys are easy to hit. Um. I have a question. Do they seem like enraged or like they seem like occupied looking like at looking for food? Okay, good. Uh that's all he's gonna do. This one is gonna come over here. Attack the other one. Couple points of damage. Yeah, they can only so many can get get into place, and we'll just leave it at that. Sister. All right. So uh, I will attack the one right next to me. Mm -hmm. Two attack of the storm glaive, and one of the storm glaive's hand, and uh, no. Don't take care of the fire. I'm not putting my uh, storm of. Uh, okay, on but you do eight damage. Uh, yeah, 16. Uh, 22 total. Uh, I forgot them... that second attack. All of them hit? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, Gizli quickly roll one. Because he does have extra attack. I forgot about it too. Let me it. And that's only the 12, right? Yeah. Plus another two and for two. the first one. So, 16. Yeah. Okay. Or, no, 14. 14. 14. 14. Okay, cool. Your first attack kills it. <laughs> <laughs> so, two. Sister. Uh, did, did you want to do anything else before you... Before you took the other two attacks, because we'll... yeah, I... just gonna go there and do the same thing to the, to this one. Okay, cool. So I'll just take your other two attacks as the, the hits for that one. Yeah. Uh, if if I can, it's gonna be non-lethal. Like they can sink in the water and just go on living, and that they're looking for food. Okay, so it's done and moves away, or kind of floats off. In any case, it's out of combat. Uh, Kriv. Gonna go ahead and move here. And then activate my shield. Shield is activated. And then attack this one twice. Hits. I did it. Oh, because I hit thirteen plus two d six. I hit the wrong thing. So yeah. there's. So uh, that's uh twenty one. One, yeah. It's looking pretty bad. And second. Okay. 
here. And that... I'm assuming you don't care so much and are okay with lethal. No. No. It attacked us and it forfeits its life. And that one bleeds into the water. Do, 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 do. The scavengers will, the scavengers will eat it. So, circle of life. You just hear Crow. Da, 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 da. Sorry, GR didn't have anything to do. Just for fast enough. Aww. Plus, uh, somebody has been really generous with magic items. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which also, is changing this. Also, they were really easy to hit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, anything you would like to do before the evening happens? The question would then then be: In the evening, um, are you going to be taking a rest? Uh, what what are you planning planning to do? Just stay in the water? Or are you thinking probably land on an ice flow? Oh, we can. Uh, I say we should stop and go on uh, ice flow. But also, it's up to the captain. Uh, whichever you recommend. But unless we're willing to take ships and be out here so we c in case anything happens, the best bet would be to find a safe harbor or a place to dock. I mean, to be fair, sir, uh, whether we're, we're on an ice floe or in the water, there are dangers. It's just different dangers. That is understandable. Um, in your... There's no real benefit to one or the other, besides getting to the ice plateau sooner. I mean, it doesn't take us long with all 40 men uh, uh, pulling the ship up. It doesn't take that long to get onto an ice flow, but it's prepared that just in case, like, if for some reason we spring a leak, it'd be better if we're on an ice flow, because then it, we wouldn't sink. We can just repair it on the ice flow. What does everyone else think? I vote ice flow. Okay. Ice flow. Ice flow. Ice flow it is. Uh, so he finds a, a good sized ice flow. There's lots of really big ones. You could easily, if you didn't have the mansion or the, the secret layer, um, you would easily be able to pull up the ship and have plenty of room to, to lay out in for a nice little camp. Which is warmer, especially if you were just on the water, you would still have to deal with like, it, you wouldn't be able to like, it wouldn't be as warm um, if people mm -hmm. were setting up tents. So that's usually kind of the advantage of that. Um, so... You guys are able to easily pull it up. All right. I'll be right back. I go check to see if dinner's ready. Yeah, sure. I'll make, um, I'll probably just uh, make food for the, like, people around. Do you want me to roll cook utensils? Oh, you got a bunch of pseudo dragons. Oh, everyone's in the mansion? Sure. And, and you, you can even just be like, we have dinner inside. <laughs> yeah. But you're still going to have to camp outside. They, 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 they don't really care that much. They're a little disappointed if they're not not invited to stay inside for for sleeping, but because they're like, you know what, It'd probably be better if we were uh, out here. But we'll come in for food. 
Yeah. And Cyrus can essentially uh, uh, prepare, uh, have the pseudo dragons prepare a nice little feast for everybody. <laughs> Community <Yeah>. soup. <laughs> Make it into a soup t soup kitchen. I mean, it doesn't yeah. have to be soup. It could be like a full fledged, like meal. Yeah, yeah but it's so. the it's the joke of the soup kitchen <laughs> for the uh, the homeless. Yeah, every time they're in there, uh, uh, lemon is still uh, perched up, watching them like a hawk. <clears throat> Make sure nobody uh, gets out of line. Uh. Chitant, you never see. I know when uh, he passes by. But uh, he's... There's a few times where, like, someone, like, looks like they bumped something. <laughs> and someone, like, like, turns around and talks to somebody, and they turn back, and their, like, turkey leg has disappeared. <laughs> That's stealing road. Stealing thirty legs. Layden is being the gracious host, as always, making sure that everybody who is feasting um, is fed well and comfortable. And uh, they are getting used to the fact that there are two. Uh, uh, dragon wormlings, uh, even though they're a little unnerved by uh, Lemon and her glares that she gives everybody. <laughs> she doesn't do anything. She just it looks menacing and and uh, <laughs> and is perched high, making you know she's being the queen of her domain. Yeah, she deserves. She's doing what she deserves. But but Layden's. Making sure that it doesn't really affect anything, but people still get unnerved whenever they they uh, look in her direction. Layden's <laughs> uh, getting uh, suspicious about the missing food. Was <laughs> food missing? Uh, well, people will like look away from their food and turn back, and and like their turkey leg is missing. I don't know why. Oh, and it, it's it, and Layden just like says under his breath a few times, "Taunt, stop it." <laughs> he can he can smell him. He knows he's around. Uh, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. I would like. Yeah, sister would it know. I, I, I would like uh, Chaton to roll a stealth check with advantage, and I would like Leiden to roll a perception check. <laughs> and sister whispered it to me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it just... The, sadly enough, Leiden can not spot his brother doing any of this but he's pretty sure he's, he's pretty sure hundred. he knows who it is like no he can't catch him in the act but he just knows what's happening yeah he, he knows what's happening just can't <laughs> catch him sister can you can you tell Tachan to knock it off sure I'm just gonna whistle and Shutan's going to appear next to me in like a minute. You have plenty of food, baby. I know it's kind of fun to steal them, but fine. <laughs> Try to steal from someone who's better at looking at. He's, he he pouts is, and then he just like goes off. This is too easy. I like playing pranks. He, he, he just leaves. It's okay. Never he doesn't just that. disappear. He he actually leaves, so you actually see him leave. Oh, baby. About 20 minutes later, food starts disappearing again. Good. <laughs> it's training. Don't ask me why. 
Why? <laughs> He's training. All right. All right, are you setting up a watch? Yeah, I'm gonna do a watch. All right. Yes. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, give me a uh, watch order. I'm gonna be first. I'll go there. Uh, Gizli will go second. Okay. I'll take third watch. Oh, third watch covered. It's gonna be sister, Gizli, then me. Do you wanna do oh, third? Okay. You can go fourth, sure. Okay. Cool. All right. I need you each to roll me perception checks. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Just the people doing watch. Just the people doing watch, yeah. Cyrus is watching his own books. <laughs> <laughs> Those books aren't going anywhere. Nope. All right. Uh, sister, you see some. Uh, do you have dark vision? Uh, if, if, I need it, I do have it because of those goggles of night. So, when you're taking your watch, you're using the goggles of night for dark vision. Of course. Okay. That's that was why I asked. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been dumb otherwise. And uh, Shutan is doing the um, the uh, the watch with me. He's learning how to watch over people. Oh, are they huge? Oh, they're large. Uh, one more. Yay, Murlocs! They are not Murlocs. Murlocs are not Marrow. Do, do, do. So, I'm just going to draw some lines here. I say the boat is right here. It's probably not the right size or the exact shape, but it would take 10 feet of movement, so difficult terrain to get onto the boat. Uh, but that's the the only difference. I will say that the 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 door was probably like right here or something like that. Yeah. So. But I'm actually, probably doing the This is probably more. You see them uh, as they. In, you, you hear a noise and you, you see these. Uh, fish like shapes. Uh, crawling up uh, onto the ice low. Would I know what they are? Um, throw me a nature check. A nature check? Yes. Sure. Are they fiends, uh, fey fiend undead? Nope. Good. No, I'm asking. <laughs> no, I know what you're ask asking. I'm just saying no. <laughs> I think I know what they are. <laughs> yeah, you totally know that these are called barrow. Are they dangerous? 
you you have been known that they are typically evil uh, evil creatures. You see, uh, you probably can make out uh, that uh, a couple of them have harpoons. I'm gonna wake up uh, the party. Tell them we have friends. And uh, okay, can I evaluate if I need the party or if I could solo them with Shatan? Up to you. They look pretty large and beefy. Okay, let's solo them. <laughs> no, it's a joke. All right, I'm gonna wake up uh, everyone besides Cyrus because I want him to have his full night's sleep for his uh, his spells. All right. Um, That's okay. If it's okay with with Justin. Yeah. Would um, Would Kriv wake me up, or would Would somebody else wake him up? Yeah. Yeah, Kriv would probably. Yeah, but I, as I wake you up, I'm like, there's like five burrow outside. They're too much for me only, but. I wouldn't waste like sleep time if you don't want to. I can probably just maneuver around them. You say that to who? To Kriv and then uh, to Gizli. Well, we'll come out and then I will tell Cyrus and Chor too. And Zen. So no matter what, you're you're gonna wake up Cyrus. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. No, it's also sorry. It's his whole thing. If he wants to join in, but yeah, no, you want to sleep or do we, we've got these like fish per people that are about to attack. Do you uh, think you guys can handle them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cyrus will sleep. <laughs> okay. I'll... Same thing with Chior. If he wants to, he can be there. Otherwise, we'll solo them. It shouldn't be no problem. I mean, you can no, ask your boss about that. Yeah, I'll be out there. Oh. I got you on the battlefield. Uh, Thank you. I mean, if you want to invite Lady and Lemon to help out. Yeah, Lemon yeah. can help. Lady will too. <laughs> Cyrus is like, Lemon, can you go help them? <laughs> Lady so needs to practice. That, that that way, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Justin, you could uh, participate in this combat. <laughs> yes, that's what I was thinking. What are they? Uh, can you uh, shift Z on them? Why? Why, why would you need to do that? Or what? I see the the uh, the token. If you click on the token and shift Z, it's gonna appear as a. A big image for us. Mm. Oop. Oh, there oh. It is. Ooh, that's a really cool piece of art. It is. Yeah. Get those. Yeah, no, it's just because I want to see like the monster we're dealing with. Yeah, because I don't think I have a handout for that. But it, you don't need one if you can do that. That's the magic. Magic, 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 go. Um, I'm gonna roll an uh, initiative for us, and I uh, rub dinner. Oh, initiative two. Is the uh, initiative uh, stuff is out? Uh, not yet. Hold on. There you are. Did you wake Zindralov? Yes, I would have woke everyone. Yeah. S sister might have... not have, had a, but I would have. Oh, and given same, we would have given the same option of, hey, we could handle this if you want to not come. Oh, what, what if you're hurt? I'll come. It's fine. Okay, uh, I'll be right back. Worst comes to worst, I can sleep in.
Yeah, it was. I clicked on the token. That's uh, pretty good for Zen. Uh, Lemon's like, don't you touch my books. Mm -hmm. Uh, did you write a roll for? I will for... be right back. Yeah. Okay. I'll roll. <laughs> Uh, while they're doing that, uh, sister. Yes. Well, what would you like to do? You're first. Yeah. How far are they? 50. And behind a boat. Yeah, and behind a boat. I'm probably going to uh, move on the boat. Okay. And, like, kind of hide. Use my action to hide. Okay. Go ahead and roll a stealth check. Yep. And I'm going to uh, uh, hurt myself because I'm uh, I'm I'm doing that. That hurts. But it's gonna be there. All right. Okay. So you're hidden. Yeah, I'm hidden, and uh, I'm gonna signal to Shutan to do the same thing. And uh, I'm going to check if he does it. Okay. Let me get to his turn. And Lemon would be next. I'm going to just say that Lemon comes up here and attempts to hide as well. Honestly, while they're gone, could I have soloed them? Uh, probably not. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, Levin uh, goes to hide, but makes a bunch of noise trying to hide behind the boat. Uh, Zinderlav. Uh, cast bless uh, on Frederica. Yay. Actually, no. Oh. Shutan? Shutan on Lemon. Actually, and on Layden. I'm going to take the time. I think I'm going to modify. Uh, the Shutan sheet to make it an actual character sheet. Yeah, that's fine. Can you uh, give me one so I can just uh, transfer the stuff? Yeah, change it to. Uh, yeah, I can, but the, everything in there is not going to be transferred. So I'm going to open the oh, okay. Shutan one and just transfer it in manually. If you can. There's items. There you go. Oh, it's not in the characters. <laughs> but it's still the same. Uh, yeah, because I haven't moved it there because it was just created. I'm going to move it there right now. Boop. Here you are. So, Zendralov blessed the dragons. Yay. Uh, Chior. How big are these guys? They're large. <laughs> Okay. Um, I'm back. 
Uh, Kasota attempted to hide, but didn't do so well. Okay, that's acceptable. But she's been blessed by um, uh, Zinderlov. Woohoo! Zinderlov blessed the dragons. He understands what he needs to do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a wall of fire. Um, look at this again real quick. Keep in mind you're on a, sh a block of ice. Correct. Um... Uh, I'm going to do it. What looks to be seafaring creatures. Uh, that's not what I'm trying to do. Uh, that's, what I'm... that's what I'm in. 120 feet. Okay, cool. Uh, so if I could do a 20 foot uh, diameter ringed wall of fire, how many can I get? Three of them? Yeah. Or you could just do a line of fire in front of them. So they have to walk in. Um, I'll just catch the... I'll do the ring. Heat side inward around the three on the right hand side. You do know you don't have to do a circle, right? I know, I just enjoy doing a circle, that's all. Okay. So, 60 foot long circle. 20 foot diameter. I'm just going to use this to, to draw it. So we got 20 feet. One, two feet. There we are. Like there? Yeah, that's that? good. That's good. So it catches three of them at least. Yeah, the, the only reason why I ask is because you can do a, a 60 foot line and just have it go to the one side. Like, true. Yeah. Right I here. Know. I just, I'm and get all really of them. Partial, I'm partial to circles. Okay. And trapping people inside. And we got deck saves. So one, two, three. Oh. And DC was 15. So. And we got 16 damage. So we got. And 16. All right, so the wall, this column of fire bursts, bursts up. Uh, two of them are right in the wall while the, while another one is right in the middle of it. Uh, they do look like they get hurt, but the two that were at the wall seem to kind of dodge out of the way, but um, still got burned. Chris. All right. You get there. Uh, 
Um, I'm just gonna activate uh, my shield. And as a beacon of light, Kriv draws attention to himself, which is kind of what Kriv does. Yeah. <laughs> it's what the tank wants to do. Yeah. That's that's the thing. <laughs> Shatant. Shatant will move. Um, it's probably already in... Um, Already invisible. Invisible. So he's going to move here and uh, do a an, uh, um, stealth check with advantage. Sure. Why it is not with advantage, though? Yeah. Go ahead and just roll again. Okay. No, oh, there's something wrong. I oh, know. You just rolled poorly. All right. <laughs> okay. In, in, anyway, he's invisible. <laughs> something wrong when I because it rolled bad. <laughs> yeah. There's something wrong. He rolled bad. Uh, as far as you can tell, or as far as Trent can tell, uh, they don't notice him at all. Uh, the barrow. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Here you are. They, you know, they're pretty good in the water. Not so good on land. Oh, wow. <laughs> they can run. <laughs> yeah, I suppose they would. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll never reach the shore. Well, they are on the shore. Oh, yeah. The boat's in the middle middle of the ice flow. So, just give them an extra 10 feet of movement. Yay! Because that's all they can do. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Actually, uh, I do need another wall of fire ro roll because uh, the one moved through it. The other two were already kind of in the wall, so they they can easily step out of it without getting damaged. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, one of them looks really rough. This one. Ouch. That's a nice uh, wall of fire. Uh, uh, yeah. Isn't wall of fire the same damage always? That's what we did last time, right? I haven't seen what was the damage. It was 16 to 15. No, one side of the wall selected when you cast a spell deals with a TH creature that ends its turn within five. A creature takes the same damage when it enters the wall for the first time. Okay, so. Yeah, but I just had him re roll. So yeah, no problem with that. It was better, so. <laughs> yeah. the, the intensity does. There was a wind blowing on fire, making it grow like bigger. Yeah, it's fine. Harder. <laughs> All right, guys, leave. Um. Actually, it's uh, laden because the uh, the thing oh, didn't. Hold in. on. Do 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 do. Okay, laden's yeah. turn. So he is going to. Fly up. How tall are they? Are the creatures? Oh, 
Uh, I would say they're large. They're probably like 10 foot tall. 9, 10 foot tall. So they're gonna... He's gonna... Easily reachable if you're like on the deck and they're like right next to the ship. Then you can easily hit them. At the top of them. Um... Uh, Layden's gonna go here in about another we'll do 15 feet in the air All right. and then he is going to do his uh, fire breath okay. cone I think you get three of them in there. All right. Uh, roll it. Go ahead and just roll the five D eight. All right. 50 points of damage. <coughs> we got. That one's dead. We'll take 15, and this one succeeded, so it only takes 7. So this dragon wormling comes flying up over the, over the bout and sprays uh, a gout of flame, uh, hitting three of them. And uh, I don't think he has That'd anything else to do. Yeah. yeah. All right, Gizli. Uh, he's going to Misty Step up to over here. Okay. I'm up to this one. We're going to swing our great sword. That'll hit. Yeah, it's just the uh, two nineteens, right? Yeah. That was a Since great they... movement. Since uh, it was bonus action, Misty said. Oh, yep. that was nice. So that's that's <laughs> thirty-eight points of damage. Yeah. Am I doing my math right? Yeah, we got another one yep. dead. Yeah. So, bonk. Comes in, just cuts down the marrow. Didn't even see it coming. Because he was missed. Because <laughs> he was missed. <laughs> <laughs> Sister. Yes. They're closer. You realize that they don't move very quickly. Yeah, I'm going to move Cross them. Line. I, I will move to kill them. Poor little babies trying to attack us while we sleep. Would it right. cost any uh, movement to jump down? I Off the will. ship? Um, I'm going to move there. And I, I I'm going to say no. I'm going to attack this one once. Okay. And once again, Aww. 12 doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. And the third time. So you go, you slash, you bring it around to do another slash. Slash, but he dodges just out of the way because he was reacting to the first slash. And then you bring the butt of your uh, glaive around and just crack his skull. And, uh, I'm gonna move again just there and threaten them. The the not the tank <laughs> is the trying to the tank. tank. Yeah, but I know Shatan is going to attack, so I don't, I don't want like them to attack Shatan since I'm gonna be a threat. So yeah, but that's my turn. Mm. Lemon. 
Yes. All right. Well, Lemon is going to run up here. Or fly up there. Fly up there. Yes. No. He's going to fly, fly over the ship. And... Go over there. And then she's going to acid breath this one. Excellent. Dex save DC 11. Go ahead and roll it. Roll the uh, 5d6, I believe it is. 5d8. It's a big attack. Ooh. Oh, yes, it Ooh. Is. Nice. Does it recharge? Well, the non taller next turn does zero that. Oh, yep. Uh, he's not looking. He's looking very acidy. <laughs> he's really acidy. It's like... Cinder Lob's like, huh, maybe I didn't need to cast Bless. <laughs> this is going to climb up onto the boat. Uh, look around and... Uh... Look at a Sacred Flame, the one that Lemon just breathed on. Uh, but uh, must have been the response trying to, to get rid of the acid or something like that. And he, he just stepped out of the way. He's like, damn it. He can't. Sure. Okay, I guess I'm going to move forward here. Hmm. Maybe. And then I will go ahead and hit um, the one that just got hit by Lemon. That'll hit, and that will kill it. You do have a second beam, I believe. Uh, go ahead and hit the one that's still standing. And that that sudden with the first one uh, uh, hitting, you suddenly turn around, but uh, you're still not used to the, having two beams, and it just goes flying off. Okay. Kriv. Two attacks. All right. <laughs> And another nine. Twenty. Twenty-seven. He's still up. Yeah, he's still up. Divine smile. Oh, okay. Um, we'll do second level. Good leave it to Zutan. <laughs> Poor baby. Do you ever leave anything for me? Yes. No. <laughs> Don't act like you. <laughs> so, 3D. Another seven. That's a sad roll. Mm. Dice give it and dice take it. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, well. Now, Chiton. <laughs> He's going to breathe on them. Okay. Oh. And he dies. With a spray of acid. <laughs> Shoot on MVP. <laughs> he saved the Loot day. the bodies. They have they each have a harpoon. Harpoons are good for the boat. 
by apartment. Do I have a thing? No, I don't. That's too bad. Uh, and let's uh, uh, take a break. Yes, play, we should have done about half an hour or so ago. Um, come back in about five minutes and five minute break. Okay. Okay. Get her back. Because I need to refresh my beverage.
All right. So Crystal Light uh, has pluses and minuses to its mix. Pluses, it's got they've got a really good raspberry iced tea. Downside, mm -hmm. the the downside is that it's super easy to drink compared to like a regular like Lipton iced tea mix or something. So it's easier to it guzzle down. But the flavor is so good. <laughs> My favorite raspberry iced tea is brisk. I don't think I've had that. Oh, that's so good. But if I could easily constantly have have uh, raspberry ice or some sort of iced tea, I would prefer raspberry iced tea. Sam. Besides sweet. Yeah. It's, most of the time when I just get generic sweet tea, it's way, it's tastes like sugar syrup. Back, um, back. A good one I liked was... Um, I was, like sweet uh, end, but I don't like sweet tea, which is usually sweeter than sweetened. <laughs> um, Lipton had like a sweet tea. That shit was good because you got like it was a very, it it wasn't heavily sweet. Like you you more you got the sweet toward the end where like it, you mostly taste the tea and like lemon, and all that, and then you got sweet. But it wasn't like bam diabetes in your face, mm -hmm. like a lot of other ones are. Right, just start on, school uh, back up soon. Oh, fun! Yeah, I'm taking how to succeed in college in Psych 101. Like, literally, it's a class called How to Succeed in College. I'm like, do the cool. work. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, how, it. how is that? My my how problem. Is that a class? My problem with, with college was I was way too lazy. A lot of the times, if I had just done the work, I probably would have been, if not A, probably B. You know, not spectacular, but not bad. If I had just put effort into it. Except for my algebra class, which I got an A in and was only... I only attended like half the class. Because <laughs> it's algebra. <laughs> it's algebra. <laughs> algebra. I, I did it because it was like, I, I need this as part of like my generic requirements. I take that uh, my second half of the semester. And I do a, a systems administration system. That's accurate. I'm going to send it to Justin. What? Give me a second. He's, he's probably going to send it to you. Unfortunately, I don't have your Facebook. <laughs> Is he back? No. No. But that's how I feel. The, what he's probably going to send it. Did you look at the picture I put it in the, the one chat? Uh, the, 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 the squirrels? squirrels. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> How is everybody? Doing good. Believe me, you, you, you feel like that too, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Like 2,000%. Every it's time I wake up. All right. 
So we've had two two encounters. Not enough. Too bad we aren't XP levels. Yeah. I would run around in the in the circle and just. I'm so excited for next level. Mm. I got shit to figure out because I'm taking barbarian and I can't even do my rage. Oh, I have things to figure out too. Like, technically, the fighters get their second advancement at level 15. Uh, second or third advancement of uh, class at level 15. But I, I went with uh, Blood Hunter too far. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, you kind of didn't think about it until now. No, no. I kind of didn't. <laughs> also, I was going I was going to go a different path until just recently. So, I was going to do my Palak. A Palak is pretty strong. But I'm Maybe. like that's that that doesn't make sense for a tank. So, you yeah. know, Barbarian is a better multi-class for tanking. I don't know what is your channel divinity. Oh, it's the one that gives you charisma uh, bonus, right? Yeah, and I can um, also. That's one of them. The other one is uh, Draconic Presence. Each creature of the paladin destroys within 30 feet of that paladin, and aware of it must succeed a DC 14 saving, wisdom saving throw or be frightened for one minute. That's nice. Uh, mm -hmm. You would have loved to have the one of uh, Oath of the Crown, though. It's basically a mass taunt. Kind of mass taunt. So morning comes. You uh, head off. It seems to be a lovely morning. Um, um, ice lows look oh, yeah, like ice lows. Champion challenge. Yeah, that would have been. Afternoon approaches. Ice flows look like ice flows. Night, um, same sort of watch. I'm assuming you go back onto a nice slow, just kind of like continue. It's like when you you've decided that when you park for the night, you park on the on the uh, on a nice slow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anything you want to do for this day? Because uh, nothing seems to to really happen. Continue the training of shatans and potion making. That should be a continue same. practicing English. Mm -hmm. Common. 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 Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, continue my training of Layden and my crafting. Uh, maybe do a little praying. Just because he still feels off about things. Anything you want to do at your or you're pretty much straightforward, just kind of like staying on deck, watching a few things, maybe reading a book for some time. Um, actually, uh, question. Mm hmm Can I do, do I have to do like training on a kit all in one fell swoop or can I do it over a period of time? Well, you, you do it over a period of time. It's, a, it's, uh, Working on the proficiency, it's like you take this amount of time to trade on it, and you don't have to do it sequentially, but you can do up to eight hours a day for it. Okay. So. If I could, then I'd like to backtrack and kind of start working on getting proficient in the forgery kit then. Okay. It's a number of week uh, of training equal to 10 minus your intelligence uh, modifier. 
And so each, so you could mark off each day. So it's just you know take take how many weeks that would end up being. Uh, multiply that by ten because a, a week in Faerunian time is a ten day. And then just mark off how many, and then just keep producing that for every day you spend uh, working on becoming proficient, training yourself with it. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. All right. Hmm. Um. Anybody else have have anything they want to do before I continue? No. In the morning, he was uh, set off, uh, and uh, over the horizon, you spot your quarry. A really large ice flow, iceberg, something. It's very icy. Um, which looks like it, it could be like a full fledged floating island. Okay. And the a portion of the uh, berg looks uh, uh, above what's above the water because, you know, like icebergs, there's a bunch of stuff below it below the water. It appears like roughly triangular with some rounded quarters. Uh, is anybody proficient with nature? I am not proficient with nature. I think it's it's the only intelligent one that I I don't have. No, I don't have religion either. For some reason. Neither is um Riv or Gizli. Uh, I Cyrus isn't proficient in nature, I don't think, either. Oh, I am! Oh, I am! You are proficient in nature. So am I. Want me to make a nature check? No, I'm just asking for proficient. Okay. Um, <laughs> so it looks like that there's a <laughs> plateau portion that rises more than 100 feet above the water. That just shows you how large it is. And there's some jagged ice peaks, which add another 200 feet above that. So it's really tall, uh, as well as being really wide. Okay. Uh... Yeah, it's a massive, massive iceberg I mentioned in the description. Yeah, flattened expanse at one end, rising to jagged peaks at the other. Uh, I wish they had like a text box in regards to this that for a description. Because now I have to piece everything together. You do see a large shelf of ice, which looks like there's some boats that are beached. It's an area approximately about 60 feet across, uh, which rises a few feet above sea level, and it's littered with uh, some enormous cracked bones, including ribs that arch taller than a human. Uh, Cyrus, you recognize that the... that... Uh, the bones are mostly of whales and huge seals. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I'm assuming you're going to essentially land on that. Yep. Looks like from our point of view, a good point as any to shore up. You also see that there's an ice ca a chasm that splits the cliff face above the uh, ice shelf 
uh, rising uh, to what looks to be the top of the plateau. It's like it, it kind of like is is kind of narrows as it goes up. So it's like there's 20 feet fly, uh, wide at the base and it goes up to like five feet near the top. As you would climb it, uh, it looks like there's steps cut into the ice. So it makes it for a pretty easy climb. By the way, does anybody have a climber's kit? Just curious. Uh, nope, I don't have a climb brisket. I do have that rope of climbing I just purchased. Yeah. Which is pretty nice. Just like, I'm looking. Ashley? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. Nice. Good. I'm glad to hear it. All right. Captain lands, and uh, he's going to keep a few of his crew members board the uh, frost skimmer. He's going to set up a little bit camp like right down near the ship. Sounds like plan, man. Uh... You know, maybe you should take Willie here. He he actually speaks the native language of the Ice Hunters, just in case you run into someone else. Because I'm assuming no one would understand the Uluic. Cyrus could. Yeah, I have comprehend languages. I think Shore does as well. Yeah. Uh, could I ritual cast Comprehend Languages? Yeah, sure. Or you Google can take me. a translator with you. Yeah. The translator would be fine, too. I just, that's just another... Yeah, question. because I, the only reason why I say that is because Comprehend Languages they, they last for only so long. An hour. Yeah, but if you're here for longer than an hour... Then it's shitty! <laughs> <laughs> so with somebody who already understands the language and can translate for you. Exactly. I'm going to have... Uh, at least Layden is going to stay... I'm going to have to not have Layden. Okay. Layden will hold down the fort. Do you, want, do you want him outside? Technically, he doesn't have any cold weather more weather gear, so he'd probably want to stay inside. But he has this internal fire. Thing. No. <laughs> that does not make him resistant to the cold weather. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, he'll stay inside. So all, all the dragons are staying inside. Zant's like, Mom, it's cold. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to stay here, if that's okay with you. Shutant? Are you going to bail on the first cold moment? Take this. I'm going to give Shutant the uh, the um, silver scale. All right. So I have constitution checks for you. Yeah. Got it. Because you don't have cold weather. <laughs> weather, weather. Nope. And I don't mind. Well, it, 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 would it I, I will say. I will say this. If we stick with that, you would have a level of exhaustion. I have a level of wait, exhaustion. Wait, 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 wait. Hold it. Would it be, um, would he be fine if he stays within 10 feet of me? I mean, that's kind of stretching it, technically. I, I, that's what I'm asking uh, I, the DM. I, I, that's no. why I'm just wondering. 
Okay. I, hey, it was it was just a question. I still yeah. forgot. If you, if, yeah, I would if say you if you have natural cold resistance, then I would be okay with that. But if you don't have natural cold resistance, a spell or something giving you cold resistance doesn't necessarily help. Plus, I'm okay. just gonna say that no, the dragons aren't coming. But if if this is a problem, I'm probably going to take a um, a short rest uh, with the people and just give me cold resistance as the infusion. I mean, the infusion? Uh, not infusion. The um, mutagen. Yeah, it's not gonna help. No. Uh, but because no, that's damage. Other. Yeah, I didn't do the consumption save with the aura. Let's see. Yeah, it still wouldn't work. Anyways, we'll we'll just say this. No, the dragons aren't coming, so you keep your scale. <laughs> okay. Maybe maybe at a more appropriate time we'll be be able to to bring the dragons along, but Okay. Dragons aren't coming. Uh so Yeah, he's feeling cold. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, I'll skip that part. All right, so you go up to Chasm, and you see the top of the plateau, but it's not level. The ground is uneven, fractured with some narrow ice chasms, and divided by real snow drifts and uh, ice ridges taller than a human. Which must have been, like, sculpted by sea spray. It looks like, kind of like dunish. How dunes are kind of, like, created by, like, Weather. Spies. Uh, eventually, uh, about 200 feet away, you, you end up seeing um, uh, past some of the ridges uh, a, a, what looks to be some sort of village. Hey. Um, oh. Uh, one of the things you see see when you first emerge uh, first emerge on the plateau is a row of ten corpses frozen into a wall of ice. Do like I know we wouldn't really recognize them, but could we tell like I ordered food and it was here. Okay. That's why I ran away. That's all right. You just see a wall which has some frozen bodies in it. Uh, Do we know if Macath was by herself? If who was? Um, Macath. No, she. Pro you, you would have known that she had some companions with her. Could we? Possibly be able to tell if these might have been the companions that were worth the cast. Well, the three of the you have um, three, which looks like based off of their attire, look like some people from Luskin. There's a dwarf, and uh, six of them are what look like they're. In the garb of what the ice hunters would be. So it's just like a random selection of people and natives and non natives. So it might have been like a warning more over them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, as you reach the the center, you see this village. Uh, you you see that like whenever the wind blows, snow whips up uh, off the surrounding drifts and surrounds the settlement in a swirling shroud of white. 
You estimate there is probably about 20 structures uh, divided between two between snow block shelters similar to igloos and some double walled yurts. Um, 16 of them look like they're small, like maybe uh, one family dwellings or something. Okay. Uh, there's one yurt near the center of the village, which is slightly lar larger than the others. Uh, and there is also another yurt that's standing apart from the rest of the shelters. Is there any... That That's the only path? Yeah, pretty much. Can we try to climb? Do you have a climb? You, you only have one climber's kit. Well, yeah, but once I'm up there... Me and um, Gizli can just pull the rope and bring everyone there, right? I mean, you could, but you don't know what's up there. True. Uh, with Cyrus, is the one with the... Could Cyrus fly up and take a look and see what's up there? A lot of ice and snow. Okay. <laughs> So Cyrus can do like a quick fly up. See, there's basically nothing there but the tops of cliffs and bridges and such and fly down and be like, yeah, there's nothing up there. <laughs> mm -hmm. But the, the, that's, if that's the only path, it's, it's obvious. It's perfect for ambush. Um, as you approach, uh, you do see with, uh, some sled dogs that start barking and growling in your direction. Uh, you see a bunch of people, probably about, you would estimate to be about like 55, 56, 57 people come out. Okay. Uh, they know we're here now. Men and women. Uh, they look like they're they're locals. They're the locals. They look like Canadians. That brings it. <laughs> uh, you see someone where they kind of like more. Fancy in her headdress, and uh, this woman with the, um, uh, which kind of stands out. She looks like she has some sort of more ceremonial attire. Uh, they come out and uh, start speaking to you. And uh, Willie says, uh, apparently, this is the chief and their shaman asking us what we're doing here. Um, let them know that we are here searching for a colleague of ours, um, tiefling, uh, scholar of sorts who is around this, last seen around this area doing some research. Uh, Willie translates that and, uh, uh, the chieftain immediately says, says something back and he says he says he hasn't seen any tieflings around here um can we do an insight sure can i check the rest of the village uh go ahead and roll me a perception check Seems to be telling the truth. Um, I turned to Will, Willie, and asked, um, can you ask the chieftain if there's on this uh, island of sorts, 
if there is any other ways to get to the water besides where we came from. Try to see if like they had she had to come this way or if there was other ways that possible could have came. Um actually I want everybody to roll me a perception check. Uh Willie translates uh, and uh, gets back. Um, uh, this is the only route um, to the village on and off the berg. Kriv, mm, did you roll a perception check? Yeah, yeah got... it shows 15. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's above Gisley. Oh, the... Looking at it differently. Um, Chiara and Cyrus both notice that there are uh, several villagers slipping away one by one and disappearing into the larger yurt. And then um, as you're kind of having this conversation, then some of them slip, kind of like slip back. Interesting. Are they taking or carrying anything with them? Nope. Okay. Uh. You know what? <coughs> um, I got, um, well, does Cyrus or Shor say anything to us? Um, yeah, Cyrus and Shor let people know. They're like, yeah. um, they're slipping into the yurt, the big one. All right. Um, toward the yurt. You start heading towards the yurt? Yep. They, they block you off. It says, we did not welcome you. They, they, they say something to Willie. Says, they, they, they said they didn't welcome you here and you shouldn't be going there. Um, now they're at, they're, they're mentioning to, that we who's should Who's the leave. biggest over here? It's Frederica? No. Who's it's the shaman here, hunters? Frederica, settle down. Um, I turn to, uh, Willie and ask, is there anything that we should, uh, to ask them, is there anything that we should not see in that yurt? And as he starts to communicate that to them, I'm going to cast a zone of truth on them, centering on them. All right. It's a wisdom save. Um, <laughs> yes. No, for me, it's a charisma save. Yep. Oh, charisma okay. save. Yeah, uh, 14. Okay. But I will know if they are... If they... Because I know if... If they succeed? Succeed or not, yeah. Uh, yeah, they don't. And he's about to say something, but it's like... They he just doesn't say anything. And I have um, Willie have them repeat the question. I'm going to start counting a countdown a countdown of a minute. They don't speak our language. They don't know what that means. Yeah, they some of them look at you funny. It's not for them. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh. uh I'm going to get up next to the shaman, or whoever the leader seems to be, and say presence. Okay, so right now they're in a zone of truth, so they cannot lie. Yeah. Fey presence does what again? Charm. Uh, I can charm them or frighten them. Okay. And I'm going for charm. Okay, what's the save? Hold 
You, you should be able to click the ability from your sheet and should print it out for me. Um, I thought I did and I didn't do anything. Hold on, let me look at my stuff. Maybe it's in there. Uh, I believe this is a feature. Pay presence. Once per short rest is an action, you can cause each creature in a 10 foot cone from you to make a wisdom saving throw. Or become charmed or frightened by you. Okay. Well. Okay. Until the end of your next turn. So it only lasts for six seconds. Right. And I'm going to go ahead and have the translator ask for me. So what's going on here? He says, oh, we're just hunting, gathering. Same old, same old. In the zone of truth? Yeah. It is the truth. Okay. They can skirt around the, the around the answer as long as it still is the truth. Yeah, they, the only difference is they can't speak a lie. Mm -hmm. So if they just don't speak it, and they they skirt around the truth, you could say they can leave out information. They're not forced to. They're not compelled to tell you everything. Okay. Charmed kind of means more of they you know, consider you a good friend. We, we know there's a white dragon in the vicinity, right? In the vicinity, we, yeah. They they yeah they and they would if you ask them that they they tell you yeah we uh, seen it around. Uh, Are you we, affiliated with it? Yes or no. There's no answer. I also turn to sister and since we're all kind of close together and all in under in a hushed tone, just be like, "Do not do anything aggressive unless provoked." Right now, there you go. like overtly aggressive, like try to go on back. Yeah, it, it, it's it, it, he opens his mouth. He doesn't. It says, "Have you done something?" And they all kind of break out their weapons. You cannot speak the lies in our, in our presence. We did not uh, consent to this. Leave now. We will not leave. We are here on a mission. And we know our colleague is on this island. And as you said, this is the only way through. So we must know that, sister, I have this handle. So we know that uh, some way or form, she has passed through here. We Two, need this. Three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. And we got some of these. So 
So they're all in front of us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. One of these, and one of these. All right, I just counted the people that are there. Who's the, who's the biggest hunter you have? Sister, we're not doing a challenge like this yet. No, but I will. I'm gonna kick their ass or just go just, inside the hut. Just um, the, I'd like to cast a deception on sister. The well, anyway, before you do that. You wanna cast the one? the person who may look like the a tribal leader and has basically been been the one that's communicating through Willie. Willie Willie says uh says something, Willie says, uh he's offering for an honorable duel with this champion. And he points over to a very large, uh, burly man. That's Orca Heart. Do I do it, or do you want to do it, Kriv? I want to do it. What? No. <laughs> um, what are the what are the, what are the What are the terms? Uh, no magic. The oh, fuck. <laughs> Personal abilities are do, does count. One of, one of them must uh, fight. Okay. No magic is allowed. My blood is electric. <laughs> I use it. But if the char character possesses a magical <laughs> weapon or armor with no obvious effects, the villagers won't notice. <laughs> I'll just read that part. All right. So if they see I cut myself and the electricity of my blood goes on. Should do the, the trick. Yeah, I will do yeah. this, but probably you won't be able to use your your special shield. Yeah, I won't be able to use that, but still, I'm pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do it, or do you want me to do it, or do you want to send uh, Giz Gizly or? I'll do it. Um, get like get. I I'll do it. Probably a better bet here. No, I do at like again. So, this is what you're seeing I, in front of you, by the way. <laughs> All this. If I win, if I win, you will tell us what we're watching. And and if we win, translated through Lily. Really. You will leave immediately. We don't like people fair. who who you know, we we don't appreciate people who cast spells on us without our consent. Do you mind? Do, do you mind if I do it, uh, Krev? I'm really good versus one enemy. I have this. You sure. Just, just show you what the icon looks like. He's going to have a hard time hitting me, and if he does, he's going to hurt himself. He's going to have a hard time hitting me, too. Sure. I shotgun the next duel. Yeah. Let's see. They, they basically surround you. So form a battle ring, essentially. I don't think we necessarily need this, but at least to figure out who goes first. No. Got to click. You do it. Yeah. 
A little slow. <coughs> Helping allies are not is not allowed, right? Right. It's just mano a mano. What happens if uh, one of your people helps your champion? I mean, it's, it's rules apply to both of them. Where'd you go? So, oh, there you are. Okay. What? I, I, well, I, because I, I had the icon clicked, so the little radio f thing was, like, right over yours, so I'm like, where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you question, can just go so ahead and go first. Before everything, this is not a full rage. Do I get to use it, even though I have heavy on. Since it's nerfed, because I think it was only damage, right? Yeah, I only get the plus. That was like two the damage. only bit. Th that was like the only thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, sure. And you can only do it once a day, anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> so you. I, I want to make sure. <laughs> I I do my best rage that I can right now. Glad you're laughing. And, and then um, I go ahead and attack. Hmm. So that's a total of sixteen. All right. He takes it. This fresh wind. That's the chance. And then. Number. Just the first attack. Yep, second attack. There's a 26 hits. Oh, yeah, that'll, that'll definitely hit. If a 23 hit, a 26 hits. <laughs> uh, that's another 17. Uh, he roars and rushes up to you. And uh, attempts this. Uh, let's see here. You didn't take Polar Master, right? No, I took Alert. So he's got a shield. Because I am not going to be using my glaive much longer once everything is set. Okay. He's had to rush so. up to you and uh, attempt a shield bash. <laughs> uh, totally whiffing it. And then he's making uh, two more attacks. Does the 21 hit you? Without your shield? Meets it, beats it, meets it, beats it. Alright, take uh, eight piercing damage. Woohoo! Ah! She got Kriv hurt! That's a first. Uh, eventual assault. Yeah, so so keep in mind here, he ran up to you and uh, shield bashed, then stabbed once, missing you, and then stabbed another time, uh, uh, which hit you with the spear. Yeah, and then I'm going to vengeful assault. Okay. And just whack. Oh. Mark that I used it. Sixteen hit. Eighteen damage. Uh, the, the six... All right. Then that's another eighteen. <laughs> I look pretty rough. Very. Starting to look pretty rough, I should say. Uh, I'm just gonna try shield bashing you again. Can I say something to the shaman? Nope. Then... Or I'm just saying that doesn't hit. That wait, he's he's able to do two turns. No, he's able to do three attacks. Oh, those are just showing. Wait, because he he shield bashed and stabbed me twice. Yeah, three attacks. That's three attacks. Shield bash is one attack. Two melees with a spear. 
Because well, those both, because the well, the ones you told me, the first two, one doesn't. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm the, the first it, time, which is, uh, the first first round, everything was whispered to me. He did a shield bash okay. and he stabbed at you twice. So he's doing the same thing again, except but this I time you can had, actually see the rolls. So he goes to swing a shield. Gone. Oh, you haven't done your you haven't done your second attack. Well, no, because Vengeful Assault is reaction. Oh, okay. Sorry, I missed So that. I haven't even done my... That's why I was like, I haven't done my turn. I'm sorry. I got confused. I got confused. Go ahead and take it. I was like, no, that was, that was reaction. Uh -oh. Go ahead and take your turn, then we'll take this. All right, so that doesn't hit. That doesn't hit. Black Speed Shield. That's going to hit. So another 14. Yeah, it's not looking so hot. Or, is that yeah, your it's looking bloody. All right. Hmm? Is that your strongest? Okay, now... Oh, oh. He does those, and so the... Take 14 points 20... of damage. Yes. Woo! You got one! You also have a magic weapon. No, yeah. I'm just, I'm also, just wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. We need to, let me roll back a little bit here. You're not dealing fire fire damage. Oh, yeah, that total is all so, that. Plus, so you got to take six, plus six, seven. Plus seven. No, well, was, no, the seven wasn't, the seven never hit. So. Oh, that didn't hit, so. Six, three, nine, and five. Nine. Hold on, I'm doing this one at a time, okay? Hold on. It's a three... There's a nine plus nine, uh, and a five. Okay. Yeah, he looks a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> so we just need to remember, just look at the slash Tim. damage. Yeah. All right. All right. So then he so did all those, so now it's back to my turn. Right. So you should turn again. So 12, so 14 for that one total. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Now that's good. Wait, hold on. Uh -huh. 14, okay. And then the other one doesn't hit. Misses. The shield. Okay, now that we're in the right thing. Uh, he's going to attempt to shield bash you again. Misses. The attack twice. Uh, take One 10. Hits. Okay. Your turn. Just go ahead and roll both. So six, uh, ten and eight. Ten. Well, because okay. the the slashing damage for the second oh, 10, one. Oh, ten, ten and eight. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rage still still doing attacking and all that, so yeah, it's still yeah, going yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, it's, he's he's looking bloodied. Mm. You're not even looking bloody, right? Uh, no, not yet. Sorry, I know I haven't put in my in here. No, I'm getting. I'm about there. Take another twelve. You have some strong armor there. Yeah, he does. Hmm. Uh, blocks it with the shield. That was a nice attack. And those two miss. <laughs> uh, I need you Nine. to make a strength saving throw. Yeah, 
Uh, he hits you really hard in the chin. Uh, so nine damage. With the with his shield, um, must have got a little off off balance, but he goes in and just kind of like chinks against your plate armor. I'm now starting to look like. It is your turn. Brave, you're taking up precious time. Huh? Just finish him. Black Stop through the shield. Him. Oh. It's taking a little bit because it was a crit. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice. Oh. So uh, oh. thirteen or twelve? No, yeah, twelve damage. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Nine plus one plus two. <laughs> Swing around, hit him pretty hard. He just grins and bears it. It, it was a sad attack. Yeah, uh, twenty-one hits, right? Yeah. Let's meet speeds. Uh, take ten. Do another strike save. Yeah, I got it. Hey, wh whoever is playing the Avenue Q soundtrack needs to turn it down, or I'll be flagged for copyright infringement. <laughs> <laughs> or there'll, there'll be a copyright claim. Might as well but mute yourself. You, you can sing it. <laughs> All right. Uh... Miss and a miss. Your turn. That's oh, going to hit. Uh, 11 damage there. And another thirteen. Thir thirteen. I turn to him and say, "Do you yield?" Never. Uh, he's looking pretty rough. Why did I'm going to say out loud? Why did we send our our, our weakest one? <sighs> Willie does miss, not miss, translate miss. that. No, it's clearly just for her. For who? For her. The shaman. The shaman doesn't shaman speak doesn't the understand. language either. Oh. What a train. That's why we have Willy. They don't. <laughs> All right. So my turn. Oh, I thought Willy was a shaman. Oh, my bad. No, Willy's our translator. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do you want to do this? <laughs> um. I would go ahead and actually do this as a sweeping, like, under, like, kind of like a big, like, sweep under his legs. So it's actually hard enough to not, because I, I don't want to kill him. They did, mm. with this was not, never told it had to be to the death. It too unconscious hard. is essentially what it's supposed to be. Yeah. So, so I you're doing long and like, <laughs> Yeah. So I'm doing enough long and lethal, like, kind of like sweep the legs. And so he bashes his head on the ground hard enough. That he knock, knocks out. Okay. So you, so you take your glaive and just kind of like sweep him under the legs. He goes up and uh, it kind of flies up in the air and poof, right down. Uh, uh, and, and his head bounces on the ground and he just kind of bounces up and down for for a short while. Uh, and his eyes roll back and he falls unconscious. And then also you just, I like slam my glaive into the ground and kind of just like... I'm really bloody right now. <laughs> so it's just like, and then I'm, yeah. Can I do one? No. Oh. Can I do one? <laughs> Doesn't count, you magician. The, uh, I use magic. <laughs> the shaman comes up and, and 
uh, heals him and he kind of like shakes his head unconscious. Uh, conscious. The tribal leader communicates to Willie that, uh, you know, that uh, they're welcome to stay and, and he directs you over, directs you to uh, uh, one of the huts as a place where you, where you can stay. Are they still people going in the main hut? Uh, give me a perception check. Eh, sorry. This far. And that's how you be a punching bag. Uh, it's not like a constant stream of people, but there is a, occasionally one person will, will run off and... Okay, I'm gonna ask if we're welcome in the, the village. Well, yeah, they said we could stay there now. Yeah, Thank you're you. welcome to, to stay the night. I'm gonna dimension door in the uh, the hall. I want to check where they're going, or what they're doing, if they're planning an attack or no. Dimension door? What? Yeah. Where did you get dimension door from again? I, I, it's from your one of your magic items, isn't it? Yeah, Cape of Mount yeah. Bank. Um, but you have to see inside the hut. Yeah, it's to a point you see. Well, I cannot see inside the hut. No, the door's not open. Or the, you know, cloth. You'd also, you could also, like, specifically give directions, but, like, 400 feet straight forward, or whatever, but... Well, it's going to be right in front of the main hut, and I'm going to check inside. It's like a meeting hall of some sort. People are inside? There's a couple people sitting there. This guy is going to get us killed. Stop it, Frederica. You're kind of far. <laughs> I'm going to uh, lay on hands for 40. And you need to see me back there. <laughs> hmm. Can I can is there the same amount of people who disappeared? I'm looking for suspicious like behavior. Give me an investigation. If they check. if they're hitting um the the Merca. Roll me an investigation check. Yes. Oh, oh come I'm on. Not sure. I rolled a nine. Yeah, you're not sure. Hmm. I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm basically like back there. Hey, I, I had to use it at least once. We got plenty of time still to use it. It's not like time limit. I know, but I wanted to use it now. So uh, everybody continues to go about about their business. <sighs> All right. Uh, Zindelov healed the uh, Kriv, I guess. Uh, does uh, he ask? Uh, well, no, I did lay on hands for 40. Oh. Okay. And you're fine? Yeah. <laughs> Remember, EMT. <laughs> Emergency treatment over there. I'll get that back as soon as we do a long rest. The 40 was just in case something happens <laughs> in the meantime before we get to that long rest. I was getting worried there for a sec. <laughs> I got down to like 27. I'm like, out of 90. It was spooky. <laughs> Although, if you were going to go down, Cyrus would have intervened. Oh, 
Then you would Question. definitely. Then everybody else would have probably attacked all of you, if not. I mean, they look very vulnerable to fireball. So. <laughs> Question: Does lay on hands visually look like anything? I mean, yeah. You you also saw the shaman use cure wounds on the on your opponent. Well, I just wasn't sure how lay on it because cure wounds is a spell where it mine is like an ability I can do. So they would probably be able to notice any of your wounds healing. So they're probably at least be. I mean, he he cracked you in the face. I I would say that they would probably be able to tell that you use lay on hands. They don't seem bothered by it. Because you weren't using it during the fight. That, that's why I was more wondering, like, because there's a thought on my mind. Yeah, you you could probably easily intuit, yeah, you could you could probably easily intuit um, that that they don't have a problem with magic. It's just for this yeah. fight, the rules it was were honor, magic. Yeah, it was an honor thing. Yeah, I was kind of thinking more like if things were starting to get hairy with the, the fight. So that's all. Because I know, like, with Cure Wounds, it has vocal and semantics uh, components to it, but, you know, lay on hands is just... Basically, you make your hand hands glow when you heal yourself. Yeah, it, or something like that. It it, it depends okay. on how, how the person wants the effect to be, so... Because it, it, it was yourself, you're essentially always touching yourself for lack of a better word yeah so you, you it's my own it. healing pool it can just like radiate out you pervert stop touching yourself in public goodness my, doc my doctor said i can touch myself anytime i want <laughs> it says you can have a stroke at any time <laughs> <laughs> You nasty. <laughs> you nasty. Um. So after all this is said and done, and like we've been accepted in, and that we can stay here and all, um, go ahead and with Willie, go back to the shot the uh, chief did, and ask about. McCann. The McCann. Uh, the chieftain. chieftain. The, the chieftain says, as I said before, they they basically say they just have not seen any uh, any tieflings. Because I don't think it said when her last report was. Is it with the, the description thing? Uh, no, they they didn't say specifically. Um, I go. I'll go ahead and ask. Has anything odd of sorts happened? As within like the recent past, like not something that would. Just sort of that uh, something's a mess, or try to just say, like, even though they haven't seen the teeth lean, that something odd has gone around, like, happened around. Uh, he says, No, the day goes by. Can I have bold insight for that? Sure. He's lying. Well, no, he's not really lying, but you, you could probably tell yeah. that he's not really telling the truth. Uh, it, it, it's, it seems like, like he could okay. understand what you're, what you're trying to really like ask him about. Um, but like when you ask him, especially if you ask him if something strange has happened, it's like he's telling the truth of the fact that to him, from his point of view, Nothing strange has happened. 
Gotcha. So you could intuit that it this might be an answer which which could be truthful from a certain but point in of us, yeah. Okay. Well, it's. I, I would also say with that insight check when he says that he hasn't seen a tiefling, he's probably seen a tiefling. Okay. When was the last time you've seen that tiefling? I mean, I, we haven't seen him in tiefling. Oh, no. Uh, I don't think you understand. I know you've seen it. I just want to see him, to know when. We have not seen a tiefling. <sighs> Maybe we should burn a village and just search for the corpse. No. Jesus. People lying. What are we supposed to do? There is more. There's other things to possibly do besides burning down their village. Well, you are definitely not, not in the good category. I will tell you this, Sister Frederica. Your alignment <laughs> does not include the word good anywhere. No, but... <laughs> I, I I will say that right now for it, <laughs> suggesting uh, you you listen, you listen to yourself as chaotic good. If you are anything, you're at least chaotic neutral. No, but it was an intimidation check. I wanted to just. They can't speak our language. They have no idea what you're saying. Willie Willie can refuse to not translate that. Yes, he does can. not. <laughs> Like, they don't he's... understand comment. <laughs> oh, what do you want me to say? Can you... Can you point us into the direction of the white truck? Uh, he, he says that it's been a while since he's seen it. The last time he saw it was in that direction, he points to the east. Gonna incite that? Is, is that normally where it uh, has its lair? Like, have you seen it? He, he doesn't know. Pretty high. <laughs> Is he lying when he said the last time we saw? Uh, roll me an going? inside check. That's what I did. Nineteen. Yeah, yeah roll me another one. Okay. <laughs> that was for before. No, that was twenty-one <laughs> before. I literally just just rolled it. But yeah, I can roll another one. Twelve. Yeah, it seems pretty. Yeah, uh, actually, hold on. Oh yeah, uh, the the. the you can't really tell. It's hard to read. He seemed to be easy to read, but suddenly he became a little bit harder to read. Oh. I feel like we're able to. You are Osiris. Either you want to do anything? Sorry, I have been muted because I forgot that the World 20 and Discord were muted separately. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm kind of good. Um, Hmm. Hold on just a second. Okay.
Um, so we were given quarters in the village. Is that correct? Yeah, they pointed to one of the huts. Um, as far, no one has said that they looked at the hut. I'm going to go into the hut. Is there anybody there? Nope. Uh, actually, it kind of looks like this must have been their sword shot. Okay. Pretty chilly in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do invisibility. And I'm going to go check out, check out what's in the big yurt. All right. Uh, you just kind of kind of investigate it. Uh, I would like you to roll me a stealth check with advantage and uh, go ahead and roll an investigation check. Both of us. We're not. Okay. We're like out in the battle with everyone, right? With mm -hmm. uh, the priestess or the uh, chieftain. The shaman, the chieftain, and Willie. And you wanted a investigation, you said? Yes, please. Uh, some of the, the current occupants seem to be like they're having a little chat around a uh, simple fire. Uh, the, and which looks like it's actually kind of like an abrasion, but it's using like some sort of oil. Um, you see kind of one of them kind of like glance in your direction, but they don't see anything. So it's like they heard something. They looked, but I don't see anything. Um, looking around the place, uh, just looks like some sort of meeting hall. So nothing untoward that we would I mean, be upset that, about. Yeah, nothing that, nothing that you spotted. You also rolled an eight, so. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and back, go back to the quarters we were given and report on what I saw to anybody else that comes by. It's a meeting all. <laughs> well, what? <laughs> well, you didn't really see anything besides the fact that it's meeting all, so. Yeah. Mm hmm. Um, and just like I don't notice anything off with like anyone like chieftain, shaman or anything like nervous or anything no they they don't look nervous Well, Willie, they say something to Willie, and Willie translates to you. They said they'll bring us some food a little bit later, if we want to just wait in our hut. Um, yeah, and, and I'll, um, I don't know, just something's feeling a little off. Can I, uh, I help Willie invite... What were their names again? Like, the ch did we get the names of the chieftain and the uh, shaman? Uh, you didn't get them, but you get that the chieftain's name is. Um, oh, where is the chieftain's name? I knew it said somewhere. Uh, chieftain is barking seal. Uh, the shaman is bone carver. Um, as far as you can tell, those are normal names for these people. Yeah. Um, 
the shaman, because I'm just curious about their, like, religion and everything and all and whatnot, just, you know, I, I'll um, have Willie invite Bone Carver later to talk to him. Yeah, she said she was going to bring you, bring you all some food, so okay. I'll meet you then. Everybody wait for food? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a little bit later, uh, Bo Carver brings in some uh, some fish. Do you eat the fish? Okay, I'm back. Sorry. I had to take. Um. Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, before I asked if you were going to eat the fish, would you have eaten the fish? What happened? Crib, no. What happened? I was not there. So they're being being hospitable. They offer. They say they're going to bring you some food. Food later. You go into the. You go into your hut. Bone Carver bring, brings you some some fish. Okay. Can I, uh, can I can I inspect the fish? It looks like a fish. No, uh, but like to check if if they put it something some compound uh, because I'm proficient in cook utensils. Okay, we're only a uh, uh, Invest- either a perception or investigation. Would advantage because I'm proficient in cooking utensils? Nope, because it doesn't have to do with cooking utensils. No, but I know about cooking utensils uh, to identify if uh, food has been poisoned or messed with. That that gives advantage if you're proficient in invest and. Uh, well, f- sure, fine. Do it with advantage. Yay. <laughs> yeah, this looks like it's probably you poisoned. Even- <laughs> he didn't even need the, the advantage. <laughs> so I'm gonna say to everyone, it's poison. Don't eat it. Um, upon hearing this, uh, I'm gonna channel divinity and uh, talk to Bone Crusher and ask Carver. Carver. Uh, well, turning to Willie, channel divinity and all. I look at her and um. Is it, wait, is it a her? Willie, it- Willie, yeah, it's a her. It, it, okay. It, if you if you want to just speak directly to her, Willie will just automatically translate. Yeah, that's what. That, yeah, that's what I was going to do. Is like just mm-hmm. talk to her and be like, yeah. please tell us, like, what is going. My patience is growing thin with these unexpected and I would behavior. I'm acting Willie my does not uh, translate Frederica. Huh? Um. <laughs> Willie does not transfl- <laughs> translate anything that Frederica says. <laughs> she learned. I'm going to do my uh, tricon- um, activate my draconic uh, prism. All right. Uh, roll me a persuasion. Plus five. Uh, that's- oh, plus twenty-nine. Five. All right. That's pretty nice. Twenty-nine. <laughs> if only you had expertise in persuasion. The way you look at her is like you're communicating. Not the, when you ask ask her to the uh, what is going on. You're communicating to her like you feel it. She's taking it like you are concerned for her well-being. Yeah, that you want to help. He's concerned. and you need to that that in order to help uh, to help you, and especially after defeating their gladiator um, and not killing it though. Killing him. Like, I yeah. could have killed him. 
Yeah, because when she went to cure wounds and noticed that you did not lethally kill kill him, you just knocked him unconscious. Mm-hmm. All these factors, besides the fact that I didn't even change the DC, um, she sighs and uh, tells you. The dragon is downstairs. And that's where we're going to end the dra- end the game. No! <laughs> oh my god. The dragon is down. Yay! On thing season! Dramatic moments brought on by uh, Channel Divinity. <laughs> <laughs> Channel Divinity win the second time. All right, I love that. Third everyone. time, third time. And we'll, we'll, we'll basically, she'll have this discussion with you when we, uh, next session. Uh, and okay, okay. We'll, That's we'll awesome. For that, so. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Uh, love it, yeah. everyone. That was uh, awesome. Yeah, she, she'll also, just, awesome. just so you know, she'll also communicate that the dragon and the tiefling are downstairs. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So. See, I know you've seen it. Alrighty. Good game, guys. Thanks, man. Right, that was awesome. Have a good night, you guys. Good night. Bye, bye. Love you all. Bye.